They set up all their ghost gear and started trying to talk to the ghost kids and the spooky mama. Something in the kitchen. You heard that voice or whatever over there, right? Yeah, it, it, to me, it, honestly, concentrate. I honestly thought it sounded like a kid's voice, but maybe that's just what my brain is telling me it was because I'm looking and, for that. Well, after, honestly, after Trapped in the Basement, I'm going to be looking extra hard and listening for everything. Mm hmm. Well, it's crazy that we missed that. It was right in front of our face. You know what this place reminds me of? What? That sound, Sophie House. I was just, I was thinking that too. Yeah? Yes, it just has that same vibe. It's this front, and that's en another, it's this front entrance. And that was like, it was kids too in that one it was, as yeah. well. It was like a fire. Isn't it Hannah? Isn't it Hannah? Like burning the fire or something? Hannah and Sophie, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if they had the same names? I highly doubt it. I think that was completely separate. That would really freak me out. Let's, let's run a spirit box. Yeah, grab the spirit box. what looks like a kid walking right behind them, but they had no idea they were being followed. For the next few minutes, Jordan started acting super weird, almost like he was possessed or being controlled by something. The first night was spooky, but the second night, nothing much happened. But then on the third night, while they were setting up the thermal camera again, they caught something super spooky on camera. And it completely confirms that Mama was with Jordan the entire duration that we were there from the beginning. See me? Because when I was setting up the thermal camera in the beginning of the third night, Mama was standing behind Jordan, just like she was standing around him the entire duration that we were upstairs around the REM pods while he was knocking on her door. And this was the first time that I was ever actually afraid of Jordan during an investigation, but I wasn't afraid of Jordan. I was afraid of Mama. While they were setting up the camera behind Jordan, they caught something super creepy on film. There was this tall, spooky figure standing in the doorway, and it looked like it was watching Johnny and Jordan really closely. On night three, they tried really hard but couldn't catch anything else spooky on camera. The next day was the same, nothing weird happened. But on the last day, when they went back to the haunted house, they came face to face with the ghost they call Mama. It was super chilling. We didn't leave these, did we leave these lights on there? Did we left? I not that one. Do not that one, remember. I think this one is left on. Jesus! You didn't see that? What was that? I heard a loud bang. As they both headed upstairs, in one of the rooms, Johnny spotted this mysterious dark figure that just vanished super fast as soon as they saw it. The guys quickly went to check out the room. But guess what? That shadowy figure just disappeared into thin air. Did they actually catch the ghost mama that's supposed to haunt the place? One thing's for sure, whatever they caught on camera during their investigation is a total mystery. If you're curious to see the whole thing, you can watch the full five-day investigation on their YouTube channel Paranormies. In the scary video that follows, a babysitter is taking care of a little girl. In the video, you can watch as the girl happily plays with her toys. What you doing over there? <laughs> nice. The reason they recorded this video is because the five-year-old had said something quite creepy to the babysitter just before. They decided to film this to capture what she had said. Let's watch and find out. Um, what was it that you told me earlier about your doll? You said it moves? Yeah. That doll? Yeah. 
Und das da? Ja. It, you said it moves? Yeah. Like you move it or? What, what, when does it move? When you play hide and seek? Yeah. Bro. In this video, there's a rather eerie looking doll that's rumored to come to life when you interact with it. However, the child insists that the doll only moves during a game of hide and seek. Now, the child is just five years old, so it's possible that she was simply using her imagination. But this didn't deter the babysitter from testing it out. Intrigued by the idea, the babysitter decides to see if the doll really does move. To find out, they initiate a game of hide and seek with the doll, all while capturing the experience on camera. Let's watch to see what happens. Oh my god! Sadie, you scared me. Don't do that, dude. Even though it was a bit of a jump scare, the babysitter would definitely prefer to be startled by a dog rather than a potentially haunted doll. Luckily, as he assures us, the doll didn't budge during their game of hide and seek. While it may appear that nothing strange happened during that night, something truly unsettling unfolds later, sending shivers down the babysitter's spine. According to his account, after putting the five-year-old to bed, he experiences something that terrifies him to the core. Let's see what happened next. Interestingly, the dog seems strangely fixated on the doll staring at it from a distance for an extended period. What makes it even stranger is that the dog avoids getting closer, almost as if it's wary of the doll. This peculiar behavior adds an unsettling twist, especially in light of what was said about the doll. But fast forward a few hours, and a far creepier incident unfolds on camera. The babysitter decides to take a nap in one of the rooms when suddenly, a faint, unexplained noise breaks the silence originating from the living room, where the doll was last placed. Startled, the babysitter wakes up and quickly starts recording. Let's see what mysterious event was caught on camera. Yo. In an odd twist, a toy in the living room suddenly activates by itself. What's even more peculiar is that right next to the toy is what appears to be the same doll as before. At first glance, the doll seems to remain in the same position as before. But if you look closely, something eerie starts happening. The doll slowly raises its head, as if attempting to establish eye contact with the camera. Then, with startling speed, it topples over, sending the babysitter into a panic. It appears that, against all odds, the doll had come to life. Surprisingly, there isn't a follow-up video to shed light on the babysitter's experience for the rest of the night. But as always, I'll leave it to you to decide what to make of this spine-tingling encounter. Two buddies, Kenneth and Justin, head into an old paper mill with lots of caution. They move carefully, watching out for dangers all around. But there's another reason they're being so careful. They've heard stories that say the mill might be haunted. That spooky idea makes their adventure feel even scarier. Kenneth and Justin decided to explore this place because people in the area have talked about seeing and hearing strange things here. One person even tells a scary story about when they and their friends found something really creepy in there. Definitely a paper mill haunted as shit. Because I went there the one night, me and my buddies, we all went over there and uh, we were 
I mean, we were drinking a little bit, but yeah. my buddy caught it on camera that, like, something ran behind us. No kidding. On Snapchat, like, he caught it on camera and everything. Dude, I'm going to be down there trying to get some. Now, Kenneth and Justin had heard many stories from people who lived near the old mill, but their reason for visiting wasn't to hunt for ghosts. Instead, they shared a hobby of exploring abandoned places, and the Austin, Pennsylvania paper mill was next on their list. Little did they know that a spine-tingling experience awaited them. While they were exploring the mill, they stumbled upon a mysterious dark space beneath the building. Intrigued, they decided to venture down into it, and what they discovered sent shivers down their spines. They captured it all on camera. Well, I want to get that lower closer down here. There's a ball in the beaver dam there. Good. Holy sh! See it right there? What is it? A bone. Bone. I don't see it. Oh, it is. <laughs> what the f? Holy smokes. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Yep, get the f out of there! Whoa! Yep, no more of that. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh yeah. What was that? I have no idea. Suddenly, a voice, seemingly from nowhere, echoed out of the darkness. Both men, startled by this unexpected sound, bolted away in a wild panic convinced that someone or something had answered their presence. The voice had an eerie childlike quality, which only added to the confusion. But it begged the question, what could a child possibly be doing in the gloomy depths of a long abandoned building? After this eerie encounter, nothing out of the ordinary occurred during their trip, but it was clear that they had been deeply disturbed by the inexplicable incident. To this day, the identity of the voice remains a haunting mystery. Kenneth and Justin remain clueless, with no intentions of ever returning to unravel the chilling enigma that had crossed their path. On the night of November 24, 2023, a school janitor walked down a spooky hallway that other custodians usually avoided during the night shift. This hallway was in a high school, and there was a rule that students couldn't be there alone after a certain time. Why? Well, it turns out that this school was built on an old cemetery pictures of that creepy graveyard were hanging on the walls, and you could even see bits of old gravestones. The janitors believed that the place was haunted. One night, one of them decided to record a video after experiencing something weird. But as they recorded, something really scary happened that frightened them like never before. I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Just so, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky shit. I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And just do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um,
just Ooh, okay. See, no, no, no. It just, it just follows me no matter what. Ooh. No, I can't. As the janitor steps out of the classroom, a peculiar sight unfolds. A red balloon begins to trail him. Yet, what makes this situation even stranger is that the other balloons in the room remain perfectly still, defying explanation. As this lone balloon continues to follow him, an eerie sense of unease grips the janitor. He cautiously retreats, taking slow steps backward. Ooh! No, I can't. Suddenly, a shadowy figure emerges in the background. This enigmatic silhouette is visible for a fleeting moment, racing by at breakneck speed. It darts away swiftly, vanishing from sight and memory. This singular encounter sends shivers down the janitor's spine, compelling him to clock out without a second thought. Since that eerie incident, there have been no further developments, except for a video where the janitor expresses his fear of working alone now. Whether it was a ghost or something else entirely, the memory of this unnerving encounter refuses to fade from his mind, haunting him like a recurring nightmare. Like I said, I haven't been back here to touch anything. You guys can see that yeah I'm I can't I'm not doing that get ready for a super creepy TikTok video that might just keep you up tonight on October 22nd 2023 magical poltergeist shared a spooky video from his home security camera it shows his wife sleepwalking into the kitchen late at night sleepwalking is pretty normal for lots of people but wait until you see this this isn't just regular sleepwalking. When the woman sits down in one of the kitchen chairs, something really strange and scary happens. So, brace yourself and get ready to see something that's definitely not normal. Did you see the three chairs start moving all by themselves? It's really weird and creepy. But that's not the scariest part. There's also a dark, spooky shadow that shows up in the background. And then just when you think it can't get scarier, a few seconds later, the woman in the video faces even more scary stuff that we can't explain. In the video, something really strange happens. An item on the table suddenly moves all by itself, right next to the water. Then just a few seconds later, a door in the house slams shut super loudly while the woman is still sitting in the chair. 
Just imagine how scared she must have been when she woke up and her husband showed her this super creepy video. It's so spooky to think about. How could you just go on with your day knowing that something this scary happened to you? Was she really sitting in the room with ghosts or something? What do you guys think? Don't forget to drop your ideas in the comments below. In this video, a family has been seeing strange unexplainable things happening in their house, particularly the bathroom upstairs. Now imagine seeing something really scary happening to your kids, and you can't do anything to stop it. Okay, so I have been trying to catch this on video for at least two weeks now. Um, I have been seeing things move. Everybody thinks I'm nuts. I know what I saw. There's nobody here. My doggy. Okay. Come on, ghost, if there's a ghost in this house. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay. Oh my god, I what I told you. This was the very first time she was brave enough to grab her phone and record what was happening. If you watch the clip closely, there's some super spooky stuff. Did you see how the dog acted? It looked like it saw someone or something in the bathroom. And the way the dog tilted its head, it seemed really curious, right? You know, people can pretend to be scared, but dogs, they don't act. They're real. Another thing that's really different in this video is how she quickly checks out the room after the door shuts all by itself. That's not something you usually see in ghost videos. And did you notice how she was fidgeting? But wait, there's more. Could they actually have a poltergeist? She even shows another video from a different camera. Even with all this, she knew she needed more to prove something weird was happening. So, okay, she kept filming. He's scary. Yeah. Sometimes you hear noises. Sometimes things get thrown off the counter. I just want to make sure that you see nothing because this is really creepy. I'm so over it. Can you stop, please? Sometimes things get blown off the counter. Sometimes the water gets shut on. That's right, turned on. It's mm -hmm. really cool. I'm gonna go live as soon as John gets home so that uh, 
I got scared. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm gonna go live as soon as John gets here because I'm, I'm creeped out. <laughs> when she stepped out of the room, guess what? The drawers opened again all by themselves. It really looked like she was telling the truth about all the weird paranormal activity going on. It doesn't stop there though as her daughter has been telling her that her imaginary friend has been playing with her. Watch this. In the video, there were a few times where it looked like the blankets were moving by themselves. It's kinda creepy, but maybe it was just her foot moving under the blanket. But here's where it gets really spooky. Her little sister was seen walking and talking to what seemed like an imaginary friend. That's when things started to feel super creepy. Her sister wasn't just walking around. She was giggling and chatting as if someone was really there with her. And then, her blanket started moving in a really weird way. It makes you wonder, could there be some dark, ghostly figure visiting them at night? Did you see how at the end of the video, the little girl goes over to help as if she's seeing something invisible? It's so weird, right? It's like she's noticing something that we can't see at all. Up next, TikTok user named Skateboard Chris. Looks like he's having some seriously creepy paranormal experiences. Each video he posts is full of scary stuff. Chris starts off by telling us that just a day earlier, he and his cousin decided to play around with a Ouija board. Spoiler alert, that wasn't a great idea. At first, everything seems fine with Chris, but then things start to get really strange. Pay attention to the weird noises that start happening whenever Chris sets up his camera to record. It's like something straight out of a horror movie. I heard it, but I, I didn't see it. I still hear it. You can hear that, can't you? I can sound like tapping. Yeah. 
Everybody's like, oh, it's the hutch. It's the hutch. Here's something else that's super interesting. One of the commenters on the video said they heard the words get out about eight seconds after Chris mentioned hearing tapping noises. How creepy is that? It's like there's something in the video that's sending us a spooky message. Did you just see that? A tripod just falls over all by itself. Super weird, right? Well, the next night Chris is just wandering around the kitchen because he can't sleep. He thinks, hey, why not clean some dishes to pass the time? But as he's about to find out, not even washing dishes is a peaceful task in his house. Something spooky just won't let him be. Like the second time tonight. Chris also mentions that just before all this weird stuff started happening, he heard the shower running downstairs for no reason at all. It's like this ghost or whatever it is has a thing for water, which is pretty odd. In this next video from Skateboard Chris, we see Chris just hanging out, talking to his dogs. He was planning to do a live stream and had his camera all set up, but he was too tired and decided not to. But even though he wasn't streaming, something really bizarre happens a little later in the video. Stay tuned to see what goes down. In the rest of the video, we see Chris trying to figure out what to do next. He looks really scared and worried. And who wouldn't be, right? Even now, it's a big mystery what exactly Chris is dealing with. But it sure seems like something pretty serious and spooky. It's pretty wide too. I hate this stuff. It's like trip wires. If I go down, make sure to get it on camera. I'm watching that window, dude. People said they saw something up in that window last time. Oh, dude, something's definitely been going in here. Look at how this is all flattened out compared to that. Yeah. Do the that does not give me comfort. Do the intro here or? We're just going, dude. Yeah, I, say, I just want to just do this and get this over with. All right, buddy. You're up. 
I this, hate D. Does the light blind you? I'm dealing with it. Hello? Hello? Ring the doorbell right there. Dude, if it... <laughs> imagine if it rang. occurred to me how long I was looking that way without checking this way and if I looked over here and like the first time I went in there that's what happened to me I was thinking like if something was right there it could have got me watch step for that thing hello Anybody in here? Hello, hello. They're not trying to harm you or anything. Just let us know if you want us to leave. Reality's starting to really set in right now. I think the smell's starting to really set in. Yeah, that, what is that smell though? I've never smelled that smell. Oh. Sorry. I'm on edge right now, Dale. so bad. What is it though? I don't know. It smells like it smells like something dead but also like trash. And mm -hmm. There's trash everywhere but it just But the first time like that we came here it never smelled like that. I'm going in. I don't have the best balance in the world. <laughs> Is this door open? Oh shit. It stinks, it stinks worse in here. Oh dude. What? I can see in, when you looked in there, I can see in there, it's like a whole hallway. It's covered up with sheets in there, dude. What the f Is anybody asleep in there? I'm gonna stick my phone in here. See the phone, so I don't know what I'm seeing. Imagine. No, yeah, like, what if you, if there was somebody in there saying I couldn't see the video? I'm pretty sure they'll tell us in the comments. Well, see, that's like got something behind it. So, do you think? Where you just look that wall stops down. right here along with oh, this man. so i'm assuming that's outside that's just like a giant closet it looks kind of like a porch front porch is anybody in here hello I think everything, uh, every little sound. Are you going to try to go upstairs this time? No. <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't want to be the only one to do it. I know. It could be just the house moving, Luke, because we're in it. Oh, yeah, let's hope that it keeps moving while we're in it. <sighs> I gotta go up there. Yeah, but you don't weigh, like, as much as me. Oh. Dang. <gasps> it's a cat. It's a cat. 
There's like pictures of somebody up on the wall over there. I don't know if I should really sh show a close up of it on here. It's pictures of kids. Yeah. It's the same kids sitting on a watermelon. If anybody's up there, make yourself known. Box at? Yeah, let me check up here first. And the smell's getting worse. Whatever that smell is, it's from up here. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Be careful up there, dude. I'm scared to walk on that floor right there. The crib is moved. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's moved to the side. Because it was blocking the doorway, I'm pretty sure, last time. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Because I remember I tried to lift it up. Doing the spirit box really got it going last time. Yeah. I haven't yelled out and said, hey, anybody there? Nothing's happened yet. You don't, you don't see nobody up there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Necrophonic app. You guys tend to like that and give us good feedback whenever you use this and let us know what y'all hear if we don't pick it up. So um, also keep your eyes open for anything that's not this phone if you if you can hear it or if it picks up if you got good headphones you probably can hear stuff that we can't but all right is anybody here tonight that would like to damn <laughs> is there anybody here tonight that would like to communicate <laughs> it's like an instant no it always does that little <laughs> thinking Tide? Butch. Last time the little kids, like, were talking on there, I think. Are the spirits of the children missing still out here? Damn. Damn. Can you tell us your names? Mm. This thing just messes. This soundboard just messes with me so much. Mm -hmm. What? How many of you are here? I was a little kid. Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is that? I don't know. 
Is that in the room or outside? I think it's outside. Oh, I remember last time there was a bird in here. Yeah, well now we got a big, like, mosquito hawk. Whew. I hope that's all that was. Oh, about shit myself. What was the last thing we heard? We asked how many of them in here. Ask about the kids. Guys, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but stuff is definitely moving in here like it wasn't before. Wish y'all could see David's face instead of just mine. <laughs> no. He's like, oh, uh, ee. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, so there's 17 kids here. That sounds like something walking up the stairs again. It's right around where that crib is. Maybe has that. What if it's the kids walking around? Are you kids upstairs near the crib? <coughs> Go. <coughs> sees oh. you. Can y'all make a louder noise for us upstairs? They. They. Wind. Hello, something. And I want to say it said hello, David. No, dude, don't say that. Do you want to talk to David? Do you want to talk to David? Can you please tell us your names? Bill. Bill. What does he know about Bill? What's your names? I've only heard one name. Give us all your names. That sounded like I said Dill. You ain't got my name. He's just saying your name. You want me to say my name? I can still hear that cat, too. too. Cat's getting closer. Here. That was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Is that y'all's cat? What? I've never heard I that. never heard that one. I've never heard that. I've heard this thing play a lot, and I've never heard that before. Mm-hmm. I've never heard that either. <laughs> that, yeah. Are you not going to answer any more of our questions? Like, can, can you just make a sound then? Make another sound. Boy. Dude, something is up there, dude. Oh! Who's that, dude? Oh my god. Dude, there's somebody upstairs. I already checked up there, Dale. There ain't nothing up there. Oh my god. This this happened last hey, time. If you if you just want us to leave, we'll leave. Say something. They've been here before, drawn by the call of the mysteries the witch house holds. But as history threatens to repeat, the chilling symphony of ghostly noises resurfaces. This time, the house unveils a secret so petrifying, so unthinkable, that it promises to seal the fate of the house in the crew's memories forever. Dare to witness the event that made them vow to never return. Watch this. No, I don't know. You already looked. That was big, whatever that was. Hey, 
And we're going to come up and just, if you want us to leave, just say something, man. Be careful, dude. It sounded like it was from right there, like it was in the room. Yeah, it sounded like somebody running or tripped and fell down. Oh my god. Make sure to check each room. You see anything? No. Do you still smell up there? Yeah, it smells. Yes. It's safe to record now. Bill. <sighs> I'm not running. We, we made it out alive. We, oh. Dude. I Get swear, bro. That b had a knife. Could Bill, you see I, I just knew that we was dead. Could you see it? I didn't see. I just saw that it had like some kind of coil like so on or something. Some kind of blanket or I don't know. I'm, I'm like so incredibly slow, like... Dale, i never seen you move that fast in your life. Thank you. <laughs> but I peek back, and I just see, like, I see, like, the, the, the blue cover she's got on, and then she's got, like, this whole dress underneath it, and there's just a fucking knife and a flashlight, just, like, a blade. I could tell it was a blade. I didn't see that. I just remember looking back. I could, you I was, was zooming to I, Hey, I didn't leave you hey, completely though. Hey. I didn't leave you completely hey, you though. Play for NFL. <laughs> oh my god. In the travel channel or something. Yeah, that was really good. That needs to be documented and just like I'm freaked out by it, but at the same time, like, we got that shit on camera, dude. Prepare to be gripped by fear in our latest video, where we delve into the bone chilling saga of Lockhart's Woman in White. This spectral tale, rooted in the early 1900s, tells of a woman's tragic plunge from the town's water tower and her ghostly reign over the old mill. Witnesses speak of eerie encounters with her ghost, clad in a haunting white gown, dancing beneath the moon with a rose held tightly in her ghostly grasp. Special thanks to Signs and Signals for allowing us to share their spine-tingling content. Join us in this video for a journey through the shadows of Lockhart. Are you real? 
Oh, 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 oh. Yo, hey. Y'all right? We're out here in Lockhart. Um, some people sent me this uh, article or something on Facebook about this place. I'll uh, put it on the screen. Yeah, to show them. Y'all can read that if you want to. Um, so basically they say that this place has like the white, the lady in white or something like that. Yeah. That walks around out here at night and stuff. It's like Devil's Night is when things are supposed to pop off spiritually or whatever. So we're going to go and just like see if there will be a manifestation or something or just... I don't know. It looks like this plate like is blocked off like you can't even get in here. When we whip around, this looks like... Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get in. Yeah, it's what, a full what, moon, too. What better way to have a devil's night with a full moon out, dude? Yeah, this used to be open, but yeah. the virus happened, and uh, yeah, it hasn't been open since from what I've heard. Look, they got this whole like informational thing and everything. See in there? Hello? Damn, that car screeching made me think something. I know. Signs and signals ventures into the mysterious with a Ouija board session that takes an unexpected turn. Watch as they attempt to communicate with the spirit world, only to encounter something far more powerful and unforeseen than they ever imagined. What starts as a simple exploration into the paranormal quickly escalates into an encounter that challenges their beliefs and their courage. Three circles, okay. We know y'all can't see this, but this is all we can do right now. Going this way. Okay. Right. We welcome all these spirits to come and communicate with us. Is there anybody here tonight that would like to communicate? You just gotta have your fingers like kind of barely on it. Don't like push. Okay. Are you real? Oh, 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 yo, hey, y'all right? Yo, Dude, somebody got hurt. That sounded like a woman, too. Hey, I got goosebumps, dude. Yo, are we really gonna go down here? Hey. Are you okay? There's no way we can even get to whoever it is. Maybe like they were down there in the water. I don't know, dude. Are we supposed to call the cops or something? I ain't trying to walk over there and like get hurt either. I'd rather just, I don't know. I go up. Just go up there. Let's go check it out just to say that we as at least attempted to come down here. Hello? That just sounds so much like a woman. As signs and signals delve deeper, their hearts race and the hairs on their arms stand on end. A foreboding sign of the terror that awaits. Brace yourselves for a night of unrelenting fear as the team confronts eerie phenomena that will test their bravery. Tonight's exploration is set to be nothing short of terrifying. There's no way we could even get in there. Oh, we'll go. Hey, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Patreon footage. No, this won't be Patreon. This will be uh, legit. Uh, I ran to get the battery pack, guys, and apparently that guy over there heard the scream, too, and he came over here to see what was going on. Yeah. And it was sketchy as hell. But, uh, yeah, they heard the scream, too, and they're just going around trying to check for it. But uh, Hey, we didn't say bye on that Ouija board, by the way. It's just sitting over there. All right. We're waiting for that guy to leave over there. He actually tried to get over the fence to go see if somebody was out there. But uh, we never said... Yeah, we, yeah. we just straight up pulled our fingers off, and I know we're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to do three circles and say goodbye so let, let's do that because it could technically still be considered open all right but yeah we're gonna wait for them to leave they were talking about maybe calling the cops but they're like we don't see anything either we haven't heard anything else they're just locals 
well whatever that was uh i thought someone was out there like getting murdered or something yeah uh, and just like nothing else came from it so i don't now, know i'm not sure if that was supposed i mean i don't know what else it could be i mean maybe what they say is true about this place i don't know but i know the camera's got to pick up that scream that now. scream yeah that was weird don't understand that no one's out there you can't even get in the gate can't get in the gate so how would you how would you be back there exactly I am shook. <laughs> yeah, but for real though. Give me in the damn car. Yeah, that ain't gonna matter though, right? That we took our hands off? I don't think so, man, because nothing even happened when we use that thing. I don't even think things are real. Uh, I mean, it's still, I don't you know. just don't want to mess with it. I mean, that. I'll, yeah, it's weird, but I mean, we'll, we'll try it at other places. Maybe it just, maybe they just don't do that here. I don't know. Maybe the spirit didn't want to do that. Instead, she wanted to scream at us for whatever reason. Dude. What? I swear to God, I just saw something go behind the car. Lock, lock the door. What? Dude, turn, turn your, turn your, uh, your, your, da your cam on. My the, the back, the backup cam. Oh, oh, oh. Turn it on. Dude. I swear I saw something white for real. Oh, Holy shit. Shit. Yep. Oh, shit. What the f Dude, is that just somebody yeah. out there? Dude. Yeah, get out, get out, get out, get out. Dude. Go, 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 go. What the f is that, dude? Hey, who's out there? It's hard to tell from the backup camera. I think it was over here. On the trail right here. Man, it looked like it was over here. Hey! Anybody out there? Yeah. Dude, I think that was her. Fine, 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 fine. I'll go first. Okay, okay. see anything. Oh, sh dude, I thought that bush was something right there. Hey, dude, I don't like this, David. Let's go. We didn't go all the way down here. Dude. What? Uh, I think we got, like, actual good evidence. I know for sure I saw something. Dude, there's nobody out here, man. There's nobody out here. Dude. That's pretty freaking cool. I can't like, believe like, we got I'm, that. Like, I'm freaked out by it, but at the same time, I'm like, we got that shit on camera, dude. Dude, that's some of the best footage we've ever gotten. <sighs> We're going to have to come back here, dude. Yeah, man. We've got to come back here. I wish you had got that on that camera instead of that little backup camera. I know, dude. Well, how could we know? Dude, I'm just saying, like, I saw something, and I thought that was somebody, like, walking around the back of the car, and I started getting, like, flashbacks of somebody getting in the back of our car before. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, they going to get in while we're in the car right now. Like, what's up, dude? Like, I was when freaking you, out. I had to lock the door quick, and I was like, dude. When you saw it, what did you see? You saw it in the right, rear so view? I saw it in the rear view mirror. I was just sitting there, and we were talking, and I was just kind of glancing over. I just like, just, just a, a quick little going behind the car, just walked around the car. Just, like, just white. Just Oh, damn. And then you see a white figure on the camera way further away. So how could that go from right behind the car and then way over here, which I think is over there? It looks like it's up there on the camera to me. But it's so hard to tell on that. But either way, we still got it though. Hell yeah. I have to go back and look at it, but I know I Hell saw yeah. something and I had the dude, camera pointed at it. I know y'all gonna like that, dude, because that is awesome. Like, that's, we, we gotta send that in the travel channel or something. Yeah, that one's really like, good. That needs to be documented and just. In today's spine chilling episode, we delve into the haunting saga of a man whose social media is flooded with bone tingling footage of his ghostly interactions with a mysterious entity lurking in his home. Let's peer into the darkness of the past and uncover the eerie occurrences documented by TikTok user WinMCPix.
Days like today are no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Can I get it now? Stay there. Yeah, you can go. Right. It's okay. In our previous exploration of this case, you were particularly captivated by the intensifying disturbances at the door. Many of you speculated that whatever was behind these events was attempting to breach the sanctuary of the home. It appears your instincts were spot on. As the story progressed, not only did these eerie occurrences continue, but the unseen entity seemed to grow increasingly forceful and aggressive. I went down there, checked the doors, and nobody's at the front door. I mean, seriously, whoever this is. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. If there were I'll stand out here until sun shows back up. I don't care, I'll stand here and watch it. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a nice one. Get that. Holy. Okay, oh my gosh, not this again. Not this again. Oh my God. As time went on, the activity of the mysterious entity only intensified with the most pronounced disturbances coming from the basement. So obviously we've had this ghost for a while. Yeah, we've tried sage, we've tried all that. That's why we kind of made a joke out of it. But based on all of your advice, I have taken a couple of items that I've inherited from my family's 60 year business in Mexico. And I've inherited a lot of stuff. So one by one, I've been sticking a couple of things in this box in the basement. Now when my wife said that she whistled today and she heard something in the basement, so, I'm not really sure if I should. Ooh. <laughs> We've been stacking up these boxes for the kids to sit and play with. Oh, it's used. No. We'll go down and take a look at hell what that is tomorrow. You guys are hearing that, right? Hello? Ever since our cat passed away, things have kind of been picking up. I'm not going back there. Hello? Damn it. Who are you? Get the hell out of here. Jeez. Dude. Stop.
leave my lights alone. The man attributes all the strange occurrences to a mysterious black figure, which he describes as his soul caught in time. I don't know if you're going to see what I'm seeing, but <laughs> this is on repeat. This happens over and over, and then the knocking happens. The knocking. There it is. And it just goes and goes until you talk stop. Can you stop, please? It's just right there. That's new. Okay. Whatever you are, you gotta go. And that's... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. Let's return to the story about a dad on TikTok who goes by Ricky Eats World and whose son saw something scary that the dad couldn't see. A while back, we showed you a video where the boy was talking to what he said was a man hanging from the ceiling. He also said a demon was making loud crying noises and knocking at night, which scared him. The dad was so worried that he had his son sleep in a different room. He also put a camera in the room to see if anything strange was happening. The spooky stuff stopped for a while, and the family felt better. But then the boy went back to sleep in his room. One night, the dad heard weird noises and went to check on his son. The frightened father decided his son should stay with his grandmother until a specialist could look into the matter. However, even after the boy left the house, he faced even stranger situations. It's coming from the wall. Hello? Hello? Yeah. It's just the middle of the night. This will be a link in the bathroom. Everybody's asleep. It seemed as though the unseen presence became furiously unsettled by the child's absence, casting an even darker, more sinister shadow over the already eerie situation. Um, and I swear to God, there is whirling coming from the cupboard. Hello? Hello? According to the dad, it wasn't just this door that was a hotspot for unexplained occurrences. The front door also experienced strange activity. But one night, something truly unsettling unfolded. It's been like this for about two minutes, but there is absolutely nobody there. Hello? Molly. Molly. 
Franco TV, an enthusiast of both exploration and the paranormal, chose to merge these interests by venturing into an abandoned, reputedly haunted monastery in South America. Locals whispered of demonic rituals once performed there, a claim seemingly supported by ritualistic artifacts discovered on site, blood stains on an altar, and even a human corpse. It seemed there was truth to these tales, as Franco, upon entering the eerie structure, quickly encountered his first brush with the paranormal. All that I have on me right now are two knives and my Leathermans. But I'd rather have that than nothing. I'm trying to see if I can find where the altar is. Because the altar is where there was a huge uh, ritual. There was a body found here and stuff. This, this place has a ton of history. Which is why I'm always thinking that this place has got to be a bombshell of an activity spot. Holy shit. What the hell is that? Listen. What the fuck? Hold on, I'm gonna get my other flashlight. Hola? Hello? Oh my god. Franco was startled by a chilling humming piercing through the darkness. Gripped by a blend of fear and curiosity, Franco impulsively seized this eerie moment, attempting to establish contact with whatever was lurking in the shadows. Looking to find out who was a person that was humming inside this altar. I want you to show yourself to me. Let me know who you are. Are you from the light or are you from the dark? I just got a sound from the front area. What is it that you want? Are you at peace? Are you protecting this place? I keep looking over there because I think I'm going to see somebody. But... It's empty. Is it okay that I could... I got another one. I have a lot of banging sounds going on. What is your name? I feel really scared right now. I don't know why. I just feel like I can't even move. Look. If you're from the dark, can you come close to me again? I have like this really shocked feeling on me right now. And I'm looking all around me. And everything is quiet. Can you get close to the spirit box, the black box on the counter? Something's going on with my camera. It like, I was told that when the camera blurs like that, it's because something's standing right in front of it. Can you tell me your name? Holy shit. That legit sound like it came from like up there in the roof. Written. It is written. What is written? Are you referring to the Bible? 
Can you come close to the black box in my hand? Hola? I just heard it sound like somebody talking. As Franco tried to reach out to the unseen presence, a symphony of haunting noises enveloped him. He confessed to being gripped by an intense, paralyzing fear that took over his entire being. Despite this overwhelming terror, he resolved to press on with his exploration. Then, unexpectedly, he found himself standing outside the building, as if led there by an unknown force. I'm outside. I had a bad past. Oh my god. Did you? So did I. Was it daddy problems or something else? What is this? There's a hole in there. Ayunda. There's a name here. Oh, I can still hear it. Good. Good that I could still hear you? Are you watching me right now? Because there's a lot of windows. Are you male or female? Are you inside this well? It sounded like somebody just said no. What the hell was that? New dare. I dare what? Did you just tell me no? I'm like about to run out of here right now. This thing literally just said, do you dare? And then all the... It literally just said, do you dare? And all of a sudden this thing went crazy. I don't dare. I don't dare. Look at me. My eyes are literally tearing up right now. I am so freaked out being in here. And I never felt this scared before in a while. Like I felt, there's been times I've actually, yeah, I've, I felt terrified a whole bunch of times, but this one's really strong. And the further deeper I go in, I feel like it's only getting worse. Oh my God, I feel like I could hear what sounds like footsteps. Oh. Hello? Hola? I am dying. I 
literally almost just dropped my camera. I'm gonna keep going into this room. I feel like it doesn't want me to go down here. Can you give me another sound that you're here? Draining. What's draining? Are you draining? Is your power draining? I feel like I'm having a legit conversation with this entity. Or spirit or person, whatever you want to be preferred as. What would you like me to prefer you as? A ghost? A person? I know the feeling. Something's making a noise. Like a horn. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a horn from a car, but bigger. From the moment Franco made contact with the enigmatic entity, it was as if the decaying walls of the monastery awoke with a sinister energy. Unearthly sounds, too strange to be of this world, began emanating from every crevice of the ancient structure. These chilling moments were just mere glimpses of a night filled with inexplicable terror. To delve deeper into this harrowing experience and witness the full extent of Franco's eerie exploration, visit the Frank TV YouTube channel. In the silent night of June 2016, a man was startled by bizarre sounds, eerily resembling someone or something creeping across his rooftop. Driven by curiosity and a hint of fear, he ventured to uncover the source of these unsettling noises. The office by the window up here, and we're on the second floor. And I mean, we hear noises out here pretty often, but you can see how high we are. We hear noises out here, but nothing like, like what we just heard, so I think it might be worth looking into. And I gotta get a flashlight. describe exactly what it sounded like but almost like some kind of a screech I don't know maybe some kind of bird but it was definitely up there also earlier we were hearing some heavy uh, like thuds and I don't know if you'd say foot per like uh, steps or whatever but it's like something was scurrying across I thought it was just uh, squirrels or something but it could be something heavier I might have to go down and take a look up
Where to go? The hell? So yeah, what do you think? Should I go out there? No, no, please. Is there something on the rope? I need. I, I gotta figure out what it is. Like, we can't just leave it up there. It can climb in the window in the middle of the night and kill us. I don't know. I say. Screw it. Well, I gotta go up there. I decided, I decided I gotta go out there. So I don't know where the hell that thing went, but it's gone off the ridge. Right. Sorry, it's gonna be shaky. I'm gonna get out there somehow. While the footage doesn't capture everything, what we do see is chillingly consistent with descriptions given by those who've encountered this mysterious cryptid. Known to be unnervingly intelligent, there's a strong possibility that the creature lurking in the shadows that night was observing its potential prey with a sinister intent. What do you think it was? Let us know in the comments. In a startling turn of events at a local nightclub on August 16, 2019, something extraordinary was captured on security footage. It was just past 11 p.m. when Rachel Mogg, an employee of the establishment, was performing her routine check of the club's surveillance recordings. The club had closed for the night, and it was assumed to be completely vacant. However, what Rachel discovered on the footage has left many questioning the ordinary. Eerily visible in the dimly lit, empty club was the figure of a small child, alone and seemingly out of place. This sighting was particularly unusual. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Shoot me up! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so scared. That's crazy. Oh my god. What is it? It actually looks like it's walking, doesn't it? In a spooky twist, Rachel and her friends saw something really strange in a video from a nightclub. They were looking at footage from the club's security cameras when they noticed something weird. There was a small, see-through figure moving around the empty tables and heading towards the dance floor. But then, it stopped like it wasn't sure about going onto the dance floor and turned back to where it came from. Rachel feels pretty sure that they caught something ghostly on camera, but it's hard to say for sure if it was a ghost or not. It's up to whoever watches the video to decide. What do you think was moving around in that nightclub? Welcome to a seemingly typical kitchen, a familiar scene from the home of TikTok user Troy Legold. But within these walls, when Troy steps out, the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary. In Troy's kitchen, the unexplained and inexplicable rain. Watch this.
Just when you thought the mysteries of Troy Legolt's kitchen were unnerving, what happened next week takes it to a whole new level of terror. Troy starts to hear noises in his attic room one week later and sets up a camera to see what was making the noise. What he captures adds a chilling new chapter to this ongoing tale. In the eerie silence of the attic, doors that have remained locked for years begin to unlock themselves, swinging open into the darkness beyond. It's as if an invisible presence is guiding us further into the heart of this mystery. There's no denying the unsettling reality of what the footage shows. Doors unlocking and opening on their own, as if beckoning Troy and us to delve deeper into the unknown. With each new piece of footage, Troy's conviction strengthens. He's not alone in his home. But what are these presences trying to communicate? And why now? The quest for the truth in this haunted house is far from over. Watch this. As nightfall envelops Troy Legault's home, the earlier events in the attic seem like just the beginning. Later that evening, the unseen entity makes its presence known once again. Stay tuned to his TikTok channel for more unexpected visits and ghostly revelations. Andrew always laughed at tales of the supernatural brushing them off as mere superstitions. That skepticism, however, was about to be shattered one eerie night. He and his friend, initially undisturbed by the strange, unidentifiable sounds echoing around the exterior of the house, eventually succumbed to their curiosity. Driven by a mix of intrigue and a hint of fear, they decided to investigate the source of these nocturnal disturbances. What they thought would be a simple exploration quickly spiraled into an experience filled with sheer terror, the kind that sends chills down the spine and makes one's heart race uncontrollably. They ventured into the dark, the unknown, never anticipating that the night would unfold into a series of events so horrifying, so unexplainable, that it would forever change their perception of reality. This wasn't just another spooky night, it was a descent into a nightmare that neither Andrew nor his friend could have ever imagined. The footage they captured, which you're about to see, is not just a video. It's a chilling testament to a night that is etched in their memories as the most terrifying they've ever endured. Here is the footage. Watch, if you dare, but be warned. Some truths are darker than we ever expect. Look, what's that red? What is this? Is that a house? That's a freaking house. It looks like There is no house on my property. I've never seen it. There's no way that this is real. Here, 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 go forward. There's no way that this is real. I have been on every square foot of my property and never seen this before. Be cautious. Hey, keep your knife ready. The camera's having a really hard time picking this up. Can you see anything in there? I can, I can see it, yeah, but I don't know. Just stay quiet. If we can hear that thing in there, we'll know it's in there for sure.
this thing. Hey, this thing has run at me before. This thing has come. This thing has come at me before. So I'm just warning you right now. Stay cautious. If you see this thing, just turn around and run. All right. If it comes at you, laugh, just do whatever you can to get it off you. You can use the knife. Just. Is that the door? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a definitely. There's freaking graffiti on the walls. Nobody ever comes out of my property. Have people been coming out of my property? Sounds like a barn. What the heck is this? Are you freaking kidding me? People have been coming out of my property? How come I've never seen this house before? How could I have never seen this before? Is that? Oh, shoot, go! Shoot, shoot! Just get out of the house! Just get back to the house! Just get back to the house! Jesus Christ, Jesus. In the vast realm of the internet, a new video has surfaced, sending shivers down the spines of all who dare to watch. A place so haunted, it defies explanation. This is not just another ghost story. This is a glimpse into a reality where the unexplainable reigns. Doors swing open with no visible force. Objects move as if possessed by unseen entities. When you encounter a place as haunted as this, a place where the veil between our world and the next seems so thin, it's wise to heed the warning. بسم الله حرك الباب يا جماعة بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله 
أعوذ بكلمات الله الدامات الذي ما خلق حصنت نفسي بلا إله إلا الله وهو العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق حصنت نفسي بلا اله الا الله بسم الله الرحمن In the dead of night when the world is asleep a lone CCTV camera in this unassuming shop captures something far beyond the mundane silence. This was no ordinary night at the shop. What was meant to be a routine security recording soon unravels into a chilling spectacle that challenges the boundaries of reality. Watch closely. The video starts off showing what looks like a perfect day. A beautiful, clear blue sky without a single cloud. It's the kind of day that feels peaceful, quiet, and utterly normal. But then... See, it's falling from the sky, like it came out of space. Where'd it go? Where's the... It dropped! OMG, oh, there's people out there looking! Where'd it go? I heard a loud cry. What? The YouTuber known as Cycle Social is seen blissfully unwinding on a boat, rod in hand, basking under the generous sun's glow, completely surrendered to the leisure of the day. His tranquility, however, is short-lived. As the gentle lap of water against the hull slips into the background, an eerie and inexplicable sound slices through the stillness, snatching away the peaceful ambience. Tune in, if you dare, and witness what happens next. I'm going over there. I need to hear whatever the hell is happening over there. Hey, do y'all hear that screaming? Is that something I should be like worried about?
think my day is about to be ruined. Are you okay? With a rising sense of alarm, the man begins to row faster towards the haunting echoes that had pierced the silence. His eyes scan the murky depths and shadowy banks, searching for the origin of those chilling cries. Yet, all that greets him is an unnerving void, no trace to be found, no figure in sight. His pulse quickens, in a last-ditch effort, he summons the authorities, but when they converge upon the scene, they too are met with nothing but the whispering hush of the void. The screams have vanished into thin air, leaving behind a cold trail and an enigma that hangs heavy in the once calm air. What do you think the screaming was? In this scary video, we see a dog in the hallway looking at something. Let's see what happens. My dog Daryl, stiff as a board. What is he seeing? I don't know. So he just takes off running, right? And I'm like, I think to myself, oh great. Now I gotta chase after him. I'm in this stupid ass hallway by myself. And then now he's gonna be running up and down the hallways and I gotta, I gotta wrangle him, make sure he doesn't wake anybody up. And uh, you know, but what do dogs see that we don't to make him do that? You know, it's creepy. <laughs> There's a video on the internet that's got everyone talking. It was shared by a Reddit user named no underscore adagio 6743. A lot of people online are discussing and wondering if it's showing something real or if it might be just a trick. The video begins with what looks like a regular day out on a boat. Someone is using their phone to film the water and the surroundings in Ontario, Canada. It seems like a regular, fun day on the boat. But as the video continues, things take a surprising turn, and what happens next has left everyone guessing. Watch this. In the video, there's a heart-stopping moment when a dark figure emerges from the trees in the distant forest. It's tall and has an uncanny resemblance to the infamous Bigfoot. Its movements are eerily silent and purposeful. Many believe it's a genuine sighting of the elusive creature, while skeptics think it could just be someone in a costume playing a prank. The truth is still shrouded in mystery. What do you believe? Did the boaters accidentally capture a real-life Bigfoot on camera, or is it a clever deception to scare? This next chilling video, posted anonymously online, captures an unsettling sight that's bound to send shivers down your spine. Floating high above a peaceful neighborhood is a UFO, eerily shaped like a cigar. It hovers silently, casting a menacing shadow below, leaving viewers to question what might be inside and what its intentions might be. What makes it even more eerie? The complete silence around its presence. The video leaves us with more questions than answers, making us wonder what truly lurks in the skies above. What do you think this is? Let us know in the comments. No What's that? 
Logan. Oh God. I guess we gonna wake up. I don't know. In this creepy video, Blackfoot County Jail is famous among ghost hunters. Lots of people who visited the jail felt uneasy. They reported hearing the loud bang of cell doors saw mysterious shadows, and heard voices when no one was there. Some even had their equipment stop working, heard weird sounds, and felt something touch them. Ian, from the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel, decided to check out this spooky jail by himself to see if the stories were real. This is what happened. Watch this. I hear that there's a man by the name of Ed Townsend. I heard that you were the sheriff here. You passed away from a heart attack. But they say that somehow you're still here. Holy shit, dude. Dude, those were footsteps. Holy sh! They were walking in that room over there. Dude, that literally came from back there. Damn. Did you just walk? Was that you just walking? I freaking heard you. Holy moly. Hello? I think I heard somebody down here. Could you make a sound again? Little person. Are you a spirit? Or a living being? To be honest, I don't even know if this thing would speak English. I don't even know. What? Whoa. Dude, I think I just saw something. It's like a lot of the ground. Soon after Ian started exploring alone, he clearly heard footsteps. Down in the basement, he even caught a glowing orb on video. But the night was still young, and the scariest things were still about to happen. Watch this. Are you in there? What if it snatches my arm? <laughs> okay. I hear you. He's gotta be down here. Oh. Just got thrown at me. Oh. Are you a female spirit? What is your name? Did you once live here? Oh, oh what the? F what the heck was that? Dude, something just hit me in the freaking head. What the heck was that? <gasps> Whoa! What? Is that a ring? Oh my god. Dude, I just got hit in the head with a freaking ring. While Ian was in the basement, something really spooky happened. A stone was thrown at him, and then another one. It scared him so much that he ran upstairs. But when he was there, something else happened. A ring was thrown at him from the top of the stairs.
While doing more photography, I capture yet another photo. This time what appears to be orangish eyes staring at me through the bars. Just checking in. Not only did I not notice this capture, I would also receive a threatening message on the voice recorder. Making sure y'all are in your cells. Like you're supposed to be. I had no idea that this entity was threatening my life, and nothing could prepare me for what was about to occur. this decision. Come on, Ian. Just go. Just do it. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't piss you off. Oh. oh, just one look. Oh, just one look. Just one look. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, this whole cell is destroyed. Did I make you angry? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. While exploring the jail, Ian had a really spooky experience. When he was taking pictures inside one of the cells, he got a super creepy photo. It had glowing eyes staring right back at him. Just moments after seeing this, a loud noise echoed as the cell door behind him suddenly slammed shut all by itself. If that wasn't scary enough, things inside that cell started getting knocked over without anyone touching them. Being brave, Ian decided to step into that very cell to see what was going on. But as soon as he did, something pushed him hard in the chest, making him really scared. That was the final straw for Ian, and he knew he had to leave right then. Now the big question is, did Ian really catch a ghost, known to make trouble in the Blackfoot County Jail, on his camera? Or were all these strange things just accidents or tricks? Maybe you have an idea about what really happened. Let us know in the comments. Ryan Riven and Wyatt, from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal, went to check out a place that people say is haunted, and they did it at night. As soon as they got there, they quickly got out all their ghost hunting tools and started looking around to see if they could find any signs of ghosts or weird things happening. This is what happened. Watch this. To a different area. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just something about it just seems so weird. Enough to get lost and I die. Man, it's just so weird. Did you hear that? If we don't make it out of this forest, boys. I just want to reiterate real quickly too, like everyone's probably heard already, but it's literally common for people when they come out here at night to see whatever they call puck wedgies, giant balls of light that float towards you. They literally try and come near you. Ghosts, weird creatures. Oh. What? What the f So much so that authorities try to convince people not to come here at nighttime. Do you know about the two boys that got lost in these woods? I know it. I know it. It legit just said, I know it. What happened to them? How did they get lost? 
Who's you to will. say? You, you will. will. I just asked about the ball of light. Probably. Probably. <laughs> what the? F no, that's Ooh. freaky. I knocked. I knocked. I just heard a loud <laughs> bang. They're known to knock on trees. Dude, this is starting to feel weird. This is starting to feel not good. Seriously, like, what better time to take you some- You do not believe. You do not believe. What? Really what the f not believe I'm really here? Holy sh Show us. I have a message for you. What the f I have a message for you? What's the message? What the f Can you give us that message? This is dangerous. Whatever we're doing right now. I will now, stay. I will stay. Break. Break. I will stay break. Can you tell us what's in this forest, please? Through this device right here in River's hand, can you tell us? Are we in the right place to find a skinwalker? We Give just... us. Yeah. Haunt them. Haunt them. Haunt them. Where was that? Dude, it's getting closer. Yeah, something's going on, man. Might. In the dark. In, In the, the dark. dark. You good? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it hit me in the face, though. Another one! Quiet! Someone's watching! Got it. Don't Dude. go! We're getting attacked right now. Dude, Fight it's up. like everything in this forest is trying to stop us, legit. Right? Whoa, that's we get weird. here and the weather is not bad at all. Hello? Are we where you want us to be? Or should we go further? Absolutely. Absolutely! Dude, this is getting a little scary. That's a voice. Hello? Are you a skinwalker? You said you're following. When Ryan Riven, Wyatt, and their team started looking around, some spooky stuff began to happen. They heard strange knocking sounds coming from the trees, and it sounded like someone was slowly walking toward them. But that was just the beginning of their super creepy night. Watch this. What if it's the two kids that got lost? What if they're telling us where to go? Like where they are? That or where the portal is right now? Did they ever find those kids? I'm pretty positive. He's over there. He's over there. That's what that just said? Yes. Yeah. It just said, yeah said he's over there. Who's over there? What we're looking for, obviously. We're looking for a skinwalker. I think these spirits or whatever it is is trying to direct us to the skinwalker. We're here. Skinwalker. Do you protect this forest? This swamp? What the was that? Is it okay that we're here? Ooh. That was huge. Massive. Sounded like a rock. Yeah. You can tell us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something's right there, man. Need to speak. Need to speak. Guys, that was a double knock. That was like. Can you do that again? We heard that double knock. We want to go. We won't go. We won't go. That's because it's your land. Am I correct? There was a huge battle that the Native Americans fought here. Do you remember that? Is that the knock again? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's something not. being thrown. What the f Knock three times. That was it. That's right there. One, two, three. We're gonna walk back to where we were. We like that spot better. Maybe you can enjoy a conversation with us over there. Let's go. This is crazy, man. Out of nowhere, they started hearing a bunch of knocking sounds from the trees. The weirdest part, when River asked for three specific knocks, something or someone actually knocked back three times. Some sharp-eyed people watching later said they saw something strange hiding in the trees. When the team zoomed in their video, they saw a figure that looked a bit like a person but had really creepy black eyes.
It seemed like this figure was watching them the whole time. After seeing that, the team decided it was best to leave the forest and head back to their car. The one that fell in the water. You might have to put that somewhere, it's starting to blink. I think the REM pod's picking up a ton of energy from the power lines, but they saw it. Right away, they said flashing the lights or whatever, right. and then they said closed mm -hmm. or shut. They're watching us. Something is watching us. Should we try and do an EVP? Oh. Okay, I gotta stop this. I'm dead here. Okay, we are going to try to do an EVP and see if anything comes through that. That would be nice. This investigation has been very odd so far. Let's be honest. We go into the woods. The weather out of nowhere starts to go crazy. We get back to the car. The weather is completely fine. We walked an hour, maybe over an hour into Probably. the woods. We walked all the way back. There's no f way I'm gonna get out of the car now to go into the woods to have it get windy all over again for some weird reason. That's just our luck tonight. But we are here in the car and we're gonna do an EVP. See how it goes. So let's do an EVP. When the teen was leaving, some people watching noticed something strange near the car. It looked like a branch had fallen, but the weird part was trying to figure out why it fell. Was it just the wind? Or was there something else around that they couldn't see? They had an exciting time exploring the Hockamock Swamp, but now it's up to you, the viewers, to decide what you believe. Were these strange things because of ghosts, or were they just random events? Just like always, you get to make up your mind. In this video, it looks like E.T. has been located. Watch this. This footage was captured in August 2021 by a farmer from an unknown location where he found a bizarre looking animal while digging. The farmer was digging using an excavator when he discovered this creature. At first, he thought that it was some kind of a snake, then maybe a fish. In the clip, you can see that the creature shows signs of life as it tends to move around a bit. After further digging, he couldn't figure out who this strange looking creature is. My father acquired the Bigfoot in the fall of 1953, and as to date, it is the only physical proof that we have of Bigfoot. Originally, the plan was to keep this one alive, and that's what they were trying to do. Like all the other Bigfoots, they really had no other choice but to euthanize it. It's been a lot of stress on me since I've been in charge of them, and it was a lot of stress on my father. Feet. Clearly see the dermal ridges for being in a freezer for so long. They are in remarkable shape. I will be showing more of, of the Bigfoot. It's his eye, a close up of the eye. So the, uh, the other eye over there. In this video, a woman catches a water spirit on camera. What do you think it is? Caraca, 
Tiazinho, você viu o cara no meio da água? Caraca! In this video, a weird forest creature is captured on camera, and it doesn't like it. Watch this. Tell you I saw something right there. So it's inside now. Tapping on the window out. There. Oh, yeah. Top window. Yeah. Yes. Bottom window. Bottom window. Yeah. I can only see it on the What the hell does its face look like? So oh, man, it disappeared. Top window. Right. Oh my god. The hell is it gonna zoom in on this? Oh it's gone. Bottom window. Oh, what the hell what? is going on? You're just going through the floor or something. It's gone through the wall. Catching my balls. He's not catching ball with you? Yeah. Do you need somebody to play ball? So if we don't get anything on the yes nos, yeah. I'm thinking to myself like maybe we just wrap it up and call it a night, honestly. Yeah. Dude, you good? Dude. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck? Yo. What the fuck? Yo, yo. Oh, oh, no, fuck. Where's Tanner? Yo. As soon as I opened my mouth, I felt like an intense pressure around my ankles, and I guess I slid across the floor, and like when we look at the footage, it looks like 15 feet or so, but honestly, like that whole situation just had my brain so fucked that I don't, I don't really remember. I can call it a night, honestly. <laughs> Dude, you good? Dude. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck? Yo. Yo, yo! Oh, oh, no!
Where's Tanner? Yo. What the fuck was that? He was not even there for a couple minutes with us. It was like he just, he went somewhere else in his mind, I guess. Dude. What's up, bro? Just take a breath, man. You want water? You want something? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just stop you. You can keep rolling if you want. I'm, I'm gonna stop. What the fuck? You need a hand up? You alright? This is all fu I'm good. You good? I want to just sit here. What, what just happened? Many folks install security cameras in their bedrooms that start recording at bedtime for extra safety. Honestly, it's a smart move that we all might consider, especially after seeing the chilling video this story is about. A TikTok user with the handle Some Demon posted the video on July 27, 2022. It displays a security camera's view of a woman sleeping soundly in the dead of night. But sadly, her tranquil slumber is about to be shattered by an encounter that's far from friendly. <coughs> Suddenly, the young woman bolts upright in bed in a way that sends shivers down your spine. She opens her mouth unnaturally wide, then just as suddenly flops back down. It's eerily reminiscent of Regan from The Exorcist, who gets possessed and screams in her bed. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Was the woman in the TikTok video truly possessed, or was she just showing off some seriously convincing acting skills? Regardless of the answer, the video is the kind that lingers in your mind. It raises a haunting question. Are we truly safe when we settle down to sleep at night? Ponder on that a little before you switch off your bedside lamp. On the subreddit for Paranormal Encounters, a Reddit user with the handle Blonde in the Woods posted a video that is bound to send a shiver down your spine. It's among the most haunting footage you'll come across. The backstory shared by the uploader reads as follows. My husband's best friend once lived in that house, and he used to dismiss any odd occurrences Shocking them up to imagination, even with camera evidence, he always had the uneasy feeling that something else was present in the house. Following a divorce, he sold the property. Sometime after the new owner settled in, a former neighbor reached out to inform him that the new inhabitants were curious if he had experienced any paranormal phenomena, because they certainly had. They shared with him this very video captured in their living room which prompted him to share his own archived footage. The house was empty when this eerie clip was recorded. There are kids in the family, but none were present at the time. Now, as the video recording couple are going through a divorce, the house is once again up for sale. Watching the video, the image and voice of what seems to be a little girl can be heard faintly calling for help. Watch this. When you watch the video, it sounds like you can hear a little girl's voice asking for help. But the video is really short, and it's hard to be 100% sure about what you're hearing. Plus, you can see something that looks like a shape moving really fast in the back. If this video really is of a ghost girl who needs help, let's hope she gets the help she needs. If anybody's here, can you make your presence known for us? Yeah, so we're gonna dive deep, see what we can catch. We've already been hearing some knocking. I know when you first got here, you heard some noises that you kind of couldn't. I heard a couldn't... whisper. Right. A right. right. Like behind me, so. I mean, there's definitely something here. Dude, Dude I swear yeah. to God, I think I just saw something in this room. In this next scary video, 
The New Reality Paranormal on YouTube is a cool channel if you're into ghostly adventures. They check out creepy old places that nobody lives in anymore and share other spooky stuff that'll totally give you the creeps. They put up this one video where they go into this super scary, empty old house down in Southern California. If you're into really getting into a ghost hunting video that takes its time, you'll have fun with this one. But get this, the freakiest part comes near the end. One of the guys tries to talk to a ghost they think might be hanging around. You've got to see it for yourself. I'm in the other room. Oh, I... Get out of here, woman's voice. You heard that, right? I heard that loud. What's going on here, dude? Not safe. Woman's Woman. voice. Try another male voice. Oh, wow. Jesus. Woman's voice. Please go. Woman's voice. Oh, Steven oh. is here. Right. Who's Steven? Right. Another guy. Die, die. This place is haunted. Something cold is touching my knee right now. You got me. Ah, oh, woman's voice. It might seem a bit out there, but there was definitely something strange going on in that clip. If you missed it, that's okay. It's not easy to catch at first glance. But if you brighten up the video, it gets a lot easier to spot. Take another look, especially on the left side of the screen. Check it out now. Also, keep in mind that the odd ghost-like figure starts moving just a short time after the team starts speaking. This could mean the ghost was trying to answer them, or maybe there's an easy way to explain it all. What's your take on it? Drop your thoughts in the comments. This video captures the essence of a radiant beach day in Valencia County, Florida, dated August 16, 2020. The footage reveals the breathtaking vista of the distant waters and a few individuals basking in the surrounding breezy atmosphere. While the day was anticipated to be just like any other, the authenticity of this video suggests it turned out to be remarkably extraordinary. Let's dive in for a closer examination. I'm gonna analyze this when I get home. Cause that, whatever that is, it's looking for something. Damn, I lost it. Oh my God, it's flying so fast. Oh boy, I'm losing my mind. After watching the video, it's still hard to tell exactly what was out there in the sea of Valencia County. In the video, you can hear a woman sounding worried and a bit scared. She says, I'm going to look at this more later. We hope that the woman can find out what was really floating over the sea that day. Was it a UFO or was it something not scary at all? Let us know in the comments what you think this is. In this next scary video shared by a user named Jay on Reddit, the video named Something Strange is in my home starts off completely normal for the first part and you wouldn't think there's anything weird happening. But then, things take a turn when Jay puts his camera down in her room and starts speaking to it. Take a good look when you watch this part of the video and see if you can spot anything spooky going on. I'm experiencing this kind of stuff and I just have no idea as to 
why it's going along the way it is. Um, I just feel so freaking scared. It's unreal. Like, literally. I think, to be quite honest, that it has something to do with that whole one man, one man hide and seek video that I made sometime last year. But then it can't be that because if it was, then something should have happened way before now. But I don't know. I don't know what it's doing or anything else like that. But just in case you didn't catch it. There's a moment where the mannequin head in the background starts to turn on its own, almost making a complete circle. It looks like the person who originally posted the video didn't even realize it was happening at the time, because he doesn't react or say anything about it while recording, and he doesn't seem to be bothered by anything odd. This part of the video is super eerie, and definitely begs for some explanation. Could it be something simple, like a string tied to the mannequin head, or is it a more complex trick? Or could it actually be a ghostly encounter caught on tape? You would think that the spinning head would have been noticed during the video editing. But what do you all think about it? Drop your ideas and opinions in the comments. In Navajo tradition, skinwalkers are infamous beings and have been the subject of many stories and theories for a long time. Skinwalkers are often portrayed as malevolent witches with the power to transform into any animal they wish. In a video uploaded by the YouTube channel Crooked 16th, we track an individual who dares to explore the eerie expanse of the Gila National Forest, aiming to record something spooky. Fortuitously for the person behind the camera, it doesn't take much time before the scary events start to unfold. Watch this. If the chilling screams captured in the first video weren't enough to send shivers down your spine, the same YouTube channel released a second video featuring even more horrifying screams echoing through the Gila National Forest. Since we never catch a glimpse of a figure in any of these clips, it's quite difficult to determine if we're dealing with a skinwalker or something else entirely. The possibility is there, but it's not certain. This strange enigma remains unsolved up to this point, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Do you believe these screams were made by a skinwalker, or could they be something else, like sound effects added during video editing? Share your opinions in the comments. On the popular Go subreddit, a user with a handle fit shared a video titled, Someone caught this on home security in my country of Costa Rica. The video quality is somewhat unclear since it was recorded late at night, making it a bit challenging to discern the details. Nonetheless, the footage is deeply unsettling. In the opening seconds, we see and hear several dogs barking aggressively at something unseen in the distance. Watch this. The situation quickly escalates as a mysterious figure comes into view.
But you can see this creature from a different side on a video from a TikTok user named Javier Chaveria. He's hanging out with his friends outside, and they all see this creature way out there. Watch this. <laughs> La tiene ahí. Sí, pero no enfoca ni pichas. No, no, está muy largo, mae. Mae, qué feo se parece un mono esa picha. Mae, sí, la mae está así, mae. No enfoca ni picha, mae. No enfoca, no pero sí se ve el bulto. Ahí. Nosotros salimos por ahí y la. Ahí no había nada. Mae, qué raro esa picha. A lot of folks think this creature might be La Mona, an urban legend from Costa Rica, which is also where this video was shot. The legend says La Mona wanders around late at night, ready to confront anyone brave enough to walk the dark paths. If you dare to glance at her, they say you'll see a creature with a face like an ape's, glowing red eyes, and not very tall. Even though the videos don't show the creature super clearly, it kind of matches the description. What's your take on it? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> When it comes to paranormal videos, the Paranormies YouTube channel never disappoints. And today, they're about to step into a place where the past lingers, where echoes of prayers and secrets intertwine. An old church, abandoned but definitely not empty. Prepare yourselves, for in these hallowed halls, the Paranormies will face some of their most intense paranormal encounters yet. Watch this. Is that Jack? Who is that? Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Joy! Oh my god. He's Open it. Dude, that's in the tripod, just keep flying at me. It was locked. Why were you locked in? You've just witnessed something that sends shivers down the spine, but every tale has more than one perspective. Now, brace yourselves. We're diving back in, but this time, from a different lens. Will it reveal more or deepen the mystery? Watch this. What is going on? Holy shit. Grab that light. Oh my god. Okay, if that's you, stop for a little bit. Holy shit.
From the vast, viral landscapes of TikTok emerges a tale that strays from the usual dances and trends. Today, we delve deep into Tristan's world. It starts with an evening like any other, waiting for his wife to come home. But as the clock ticked on, the familiar walls of his home began echoing with whispers of the unknown. TikTok user Magnus Madsen, expressing her distress in past videos, trying to explain her paranormal experiences, faced with disbelief and skepticism from viewers. She warned, she shared, and she pled. But the digital realm echoed with skepticism. Tired of being unheard, she took a bold step. One night, one camera, and a determination to capture what lurks in the shadows. She slept, but the unseen forces, well, they were more awake than ever. Prepare yourselves, for what she captured is beyond unsettling. The question is, are you ready to believe? Watch this. In this next scary video, we see two guys on video chat talking, and looks like they're having fun until something terrifying happens right in front of their eyes. Sometimes, the unexpected crashes are virtual hangouts, transforming moments of joy into pure, unadulterated terror. Keep your eyes peeled and your guard up, because what's about to unfold will leave them and you shaken to the core. Watch this. So, there we go. That is end of round number three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I heard like a bonk. What? Did you not hear that noise? I heard a bonk, oh, no. yeah. My suitcase just moved across the room by itself. <laughs> right there. That was not there a second ago. Yeah. Know. Mate, the first cool. two films are amazing. So, there we go. That is end of round number three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I heard like a bonk. Imagine you're aboard a plane. The excitement of a journey ahead. Everything seems as it should be. The world outside blurs as you ascend, the ground becoming a distant memory. 
You lean in, curious, drawn to the window's view. But then, as the vast expanse of sky greets you, something unexpected comes into view, something that defies explanation. Watch this. The strange story of Andrew Dawson is one that will send shivers down your spine. Andrew claimed on his TikTok channel to have recorded a video of a giant on top of a mountain in Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada. Andrew documented a strange series of events as he tried to refilm the entity in the following months. But as the story unfolds, a dark and terrifying truth emerges. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Andrew's quest to film the giant had a tragic and terrifying ending. He claims to have been followed and stalked by the CIA or some branch of the government, and the entity he captured on film seems to be something far more sinister than a simple wild man or Sasquatch. Andrew was a strong believer in the supernatural, he believed that the world is full of mysterious and unexplained phenomena. He also references the Bible, specifically Genesis 6-4, which states that there were giants in the earth in those days. He also references Luke 21-26, which talks about the last days, when men's hearts will faint from fear and anxiety over what is coming upon the earth. The supernatural aspect of this phenomenon leaves many questions unanswered, leaving the viewer to wonder what kind of dark and terrifying truth lies behind this strange and eerie story. Andrew's TikTok page has many posts leading up to the giant saga. Most of his posts are just average posts of him and his family, his dog, his truck, and other things that people typically share on social media. However, on April 9th, he uploaded a video with what he called a giant on top of a mountain in Jasper National Park. The video quickly went viral, but many people were skeptical of its authenticity. Andrew then tried to go back to the mountain to film or find whatever that being was that he recorded. However, upon arriving at the location, the giant was no longer there. He spoke with locals in the area, and they claimed that it comes and goes. He also posted videos of himself trying to get closer to the mountain, but the entity was never there. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Andrew's quest to film the giant had a tragic and terrifying ending. He claims to have been followed and stalked by the CIA or some branch of the government, and the entity he captured on film seems to be something far more sinister than a simple wild man or Sasquatch. The supernatural aspect of this phenomenon leaves many questions unanswered, leaving the viewer to wonder what kind of dark and terrifying truth lies behind this strange and eerie story. What is it? It's a person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. No. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? And I'm gonna set my camera on something so you guys aren't complaining how shaky it is in the truck. Because, yeah, internet has no chill. But that's the mountain we're going to. But we're just gonna try to get closer. This, as a tripod to try to keep it steady for you guys and it's not even there anymore too that's where it was yesterday i spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently i don't know see that's me trying to keep it super steady with something just, there we go do you know how hard it is to keep it steady with zoomed in all the way 
I just got stopped by like some CIA agent. He told me to turn around, said I'm trespassing. I said it's a it's a public freaking it's a public area, like a public park or whatever. Some local told me to take this path. I didn't get it on camera, but I'm gonna go again tomorrow and be prepared to be filming right now because he stopped the vehicle, his truck was blocking it, said some big like, environmental issue was going on. I don't know, was, he told me to go back and said I was trespassing. I don't get it. It was awkward, but I'm going back again tomorrow to see if he's not there. But if he is there, I will keep camera, I will film because the only angle I could get that that I found today is the one I just posted earlier, and it, there wasn't even anything there. But I don't understand why the road's blocked off. I, I don't know. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the? F I just want to give you an update. I'm not dead. I have not disappeared. Uh, I have just been busy with life. I couldn't get around to posting and updating you guys. So now, now I'm gonna give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. I'm uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just needed to give you a quick update. Here again. Yeah, this is, this is him. What's going on? Road's closed, turn around. Really? Yeah, man, just, just turn around, please. Okay. okay. Have a good night, man. So, that was f***ed up. There he is, I'm driving past him again. Just turned around. I don't understand why it's closed off though. It's a public park or public road or whatever. I think that's the same vehicle from. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. What is that? That was not there yesterday. Sadly, the Campbell River Mirror, a local newspaper, posted in their obituary that Andrew Ryan Watchorm Dawson had sadly passed away on July 1, 2022. This story needs more answers, but I'm afraid those answers went to the grave with Ryan. If you've enjoyed this story, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other scary stories. This is what we have, we're just gonna clear. Yeah. Yeah, here, let's go back to the video. So this is the video, right? This is just all video. This is from your camera, which was in the attic where we were hearing which the... Which is the newest camera, and it was working the whole time we were watching. And you can see it, it was working up there. When we went up there. You yeah, can the literally screen, see the, the, the screen is yeah. filming. There's audio there, right? right? Yeah, listen. Yeah, it's filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's playing. And it will not even playing, but we were seeing that shit. Is the lens cap on? No. No, we can see it, Jacob. We can see the the, the this, whole the, thing. Oh, yeah, we on could. The thing. Yeah, 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 look, look, my lens cap That's is right. the look. thing. Yeah, so I don't know. It's what doesn't want I to don't know. Somebody doesn't want to be filmed with that f***ing ring. My lens cap's right here. Yeah, that's Two painstaking hours later, delving deep into the labyrinth of forgotten files and ancient recordings, they finally unearthed something. Something that was meant to stay hidden. Watch this.
the course, you know, he built it. Yeah, it's, I, we believe it's Mr. Heyman mm -hmm. is the yeah. male dominant spirit, and he, he seems to be more dominant in his office on the third floor. Now, which one's the office? The, old one, right? the one, yeah, the one that we just got through doing. Yeah, that's that's oh, the, that's, oh, that's, where that that's where that was. That's where this where the camera. That's where that was. Okay, uh -huh. so that's his office. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> at the stairs, like the hall's done. And then in his office, and the other two aren't, mm -hmm. aren't done. And his office actually overlooks the courthouse over there in town. Oh yeah, so, true. yeah, true. yeah. Wonderful. That's why the third, the bathroom was put into the third floor. Third, third floor. floor. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, the other one was yeah. third yeah. 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 And then we believe the female is. We believe it's Emma, his first wife. First wife. Yeah. yeah. Because we, I mean, we've not been able to find a death certificate for her, and um, she was 43 when she passed away. That's very young. Was she the one? I've, I've been doing a lot of research, so I might have my stuff like mixed up. But was she the one that her wishes were to be buried on the property, or is that? Am I thinking some some other place? If you researched that and found it, I would love to have it. <laughs> I'm not very good at researching. And I had my niece was doing it and then she just kind of gave up on me. But what, I mean, we found one thing about Emma passing away. And it was in a uh, Clarkburg newspaper. And it was just a little small. Um, and all it said is that she had passed away at her house and would be buried there. Gotcha. Okay. And that's all it said in, yeah. in the newspaper clipping. But now... They're Mr. Heyman and they're both buried over here on Town Hill. Okay. Uh -huh. Where you go up? There yeah, a little bit. and it's off to the left. Yeah. Now his his tombstone and stuff is all just like it's perfect. Oh really? But hers is broken in pieces all over. So I, I wonder if yeah. they didn't move her from here over oh, there. there. Yeah. Right, and it broke the tombstone. Yeah. And had to yeah, and it broke it because it covers like the whole grave. Yeah. It's, did she have a specific room when she was living here? We believe it was this one, the pink room upstairs. Oh, okay, the one right above us? Red pot. The one with the red pot. Um, on yep. the bed. Yep. And then the, the little girl, she's giggled, she giggles. Sometimes we'll hear her cry, like you said. Yeah, we've only heard her yeah. cry. Yeah. She's, uh, I've had a few people get poked in the ribs. Like a little girl. My back, bro. <laughs> I, yesterday he said he, he, said I had, he had a little. Like right there. Right there. In, the, in the back left side of his room. Yeah. I remember that's you saying that. Yeah. I thought you were just kind of crazy, but you saying that people get poked in the ribs. Yep. Um, actually, a few weeks ago, Paranormal Press Quest was here. Mm -hmm. Did you watch that one? Oh, yeah. He got touched in the attic. Yeah. He was in Mr. Heyman's office. When his hand got touched. See, we didn't do anything in that yeah, attic after yesterday. We after we heard the clacking, we, we stayed right here. Right here. Like, so, so right tonight, here and there. Tonight we're going to do a lot of second attic. floor second, attic. Yeah, mostly attic. Yeah. Attic is going to be probably, it's mostly your most active yeah. place. They were, like she said, it was like a black mass. She said they saw it in that room all the time. She said one night it was like spinning around the, the light. The black mist. The black, the black mist. Yeah. See, you guys are just oh, like, well, you, everything's so he, like, yeah. So, ever, like literally not even half a second, I thought, I think I was walking from right here into there, and I saw maybe... Oh, dude, black mist. Now that, not black, now no, that I'm thinking like, about it, I remember it being like a, like a, a black, super thin oval, maybe about yay big, yay thick. Yep. Just shoot from one side to the other. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Up there too. No, remember after we had all that stuff happen up there, you were here. filming right there and watching the cameras. That orb went, and then you saw the black. Oh yeah, there's also the black, black thing. Right so right I was using it. this camera. And this is just after everything is kind of happening, That's and I'm I'm literally the camera's like this close to the to the ground, mm -hmm. and it's on this floor in clear as day. Just a little white orb just goes from left to the right, and then right behind that white orb, you see a, like a, a black thing just passed. We need a camera set up here. Yeah. My husband. Now, this man's never had anything to ever do with paranormal. I, me, 
I have. I, my, sec, my first husband, that house was just haunted like crazy. But anyways, I was homesick one day, and it was right after we bought the house, and he was up here by himself. And he was in the basement draining the hot water tank. Okay, I couldn't get a hold of him. I couldn't text him nothing. I mean, I was getting nothing. So I just finally got in the car and drove up here. Well, he was in the basement, and I tried to come through the front door, and I couldn't get through it, and then I went to the back door and come in. Well, when I hollered at him, I was like, I couldn't get through the front door. And at that time, every, everything was so wet. I mean, windows were sticking, doors were sticking. We would just have, you know, it was just where everything was so swelled where it was wet. Yeah. Yeah. So he was like, well, good morning. He said, I left that door unlocked for his daughter to get in. He said, they were supposed to come by and help me. And I was like, oh, well, I can't get it open. So he went around the house and I come in here and I'm pulling and he's pushing and I get to looking and that little slide lock had got slid over and the door got locked. And I was like, hold on one. So I just slid the lock back and opened right up. And he was like, what did you do? And I said, well, I unlocked it. And he was like, no. He said, no, Teresa. He said, I left that door unlocked for yeah. Bridget to get in. He said, I know it was unlocked. It's also pretty hard to unlock because you have to pull it yeah. back a little bit and like it. line yeah. it up perfectly and mm -hmm. wedge it in there. What well, time he was in the basement that day, it, this was like a few days later, he finally told me. But he said that he was um, just sitting by the hot water tank on a little box. And he said, under the stairs, he saw, he said it was, he didn't even know what it was. He was explaining that to me. He said it looked like a flickering light, and he said it was probably, it was oblong. And he said it was under the steps. And he said, he got up, he said, I moved my arms around thinking the light was coming in from somewhere. And he said, I tried to block it, and he said, I couldn't. And he said, I sat there and watched that thing for a minute. And he said that he turned around and the hot water tank quit draining, so he turned around got a drain, and he said, I turned back around and he said it was gone. He asked me, he said, what did I see? And I was like, you saw an order, but I said, you probably saw the spirit. It's been one of us. A light coming from the bathroom? That's the flux. No, that's not. No, yes. That's still the rim pod. It's pulsing. No, that's the flux. That's they're touching. touching. They're, they're touching, touching it. They're physically touching it. Thank you. We, can, let's we appreciate you doing that. Especially the right one he asked. We're not here to harm you in any way. We just want to have a conversation. I should have plenty of... All right. Well, we went downstairs. It's physically touching, touching it now. I want to go into that room, which is the children's room. Next. That's, that's where I want to go next. That's from us. The glare's on the cameras and shit. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you guys. Oh, there's somebody standing in that fucking door frame. Right, right, wait, 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 right, wait, wait, right there. It's, yeah. Oh. There's, some, there was, there's somebody standing right there. Bro, literally shoulders, arms, legs, focus. Dude, look. Can oh my. At, can you wave at us? I'm going to go see if the K2 is going off. Just look, it reads Austin perfectly. Yeah. Dude, this thing won't. Here, it's being recorded, so. Okay, word. Yeah, no, now that's going off. So it's right here. No, it's literally. It's by literally the clock, standing right in front right of you, bro. Right next to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so literally, right, it's not there right now, but. It's either standing where you are, and this thing's like eight foot tall. Was that y'all? No, that was yeah, that was him. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude. That one's more than anything, because that one literally is... They're gone now as soon as you get now they're back. No, dude, they're... Like, there's two of them. I need to find dude, them. both of the daughters are literally just sitting here. Or standing here. You should have kind of... Probably should have asked, because a lot of parents don't like you taking pictures of their kids. At the notorious Hamond house, the unexplained is becoming undeniable. Every creak, every whisper, seems to echo tales of the past. A door slamming on its own, a shadow passing, an EVP recording device catching ghostly sounds. 
the mounting evidence, each piece more compelling than the last, paints a chilling portrait. Could the legends be true? Could Haymond House truly be a nexus of the supernatural? As the night deepens, the Forgotten Explorations team ventures further into the unknown. What awaits them is anyone's guess. Stay with us and peer into the abyss of the paranormal. Watch this. Dude, I can feel the difference from the first floor and the second floor. There it is. And now it's fully standing there. What was that? Did you just... No, that was a door upstairs. Or like a creek. I don't know what that was. That was a bit... I... Or like somebody walking and then like... Yeah. Uh, or Does that... That'll still pick up if I turn this light off, right? It might pick up better if we don't have what the light that? on. Did you see that? No, no, I didn't. Is one closer? No, it's like a ball. Wait, stand right, stand right there and, and look in this room. Because we've only, I've only seen that one yeah, recently. See, it works because I have the flashlight on. A, it looks like it gets trying to pick the ball up, but it can't. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit, fuck. bro! <laughs> But that REM pod hasn't gone off since we started seeing well, them. Yeah. And then as there's soon still, as that... There's still the one, but I don't know if it's the... It as soon as like I mentioned it... Bend over to pick the ball up. Don't, you don't have to pick it up, just touch it. Can I ask who we are speaking to? Or who would like to speak to us? His email is, we believe it's Emma, his first wife. First wife, yeah. yeah. Because we, I mean, we've not been able to find a death certificate for her. And um, she was 43 when she passed away. That's weird. 43. No. I swear, I swear to God, bro, I saw something just like coming up coming up and out of my peripheral well, when i was remember when i was doing that the sls during the day i saw something going down in front of you Dude, what is that smell is it sweet yeah like, was... a, like a like shampoo yeah like, like a lilac like, like, like a woman yeah, yeah. Is it, it's not me is it like... no 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 i smell i smelled it it's downstairs like me, my shoulder i smelled it downstairs no, and as soon as you yeah, is it the that's clone? I smell the shit out of clone, but that's not the good smell. Yeah, it smells like it. No, but that's not the smell that I was smelling. I smelled that downstairs on the the viewing room. And I I, I can smell. Maybe that's it. what it is. It's probably the bomb and stuff they used, and that's why it smells like that. But why are we smelling that like randomly? Here? Yeah, randomly. That makes sense. In tonight's video, we're going to check out the old courthouse in Tucson, Arizona. This old building used to be really important, but now it's quiet and surrounded by big fences. But sometimes, when everything is quiet at night, weird things from the past might happen. A night security guard, who watches over this old place, shared this story with us. The building has special sensors that beep if someone or something moves inside. People thought nobody was inside, but the guard wasn't so sure. Some thought maybe the lights inside were just broken, but experts said that wasn't the case. Sometimes things happen that we can't really explain. And the ghost is live at the courts. Every ancient building holds secrets, whispered through its walls, and echoed in its hallways. But the old courthouse 
It seems to tell a tale more haunting than most. Could events from its storied past be the reason behind the eerie occurrences here today? Is it merely old age, or is the courthouse truly haunted? Give it another 20 seconds, see if it happens again. Have you ever seen lights behaving mysteriously, fading on and off when there's absolutely no one around to explain yep. why? It's definitely odd and raises so many questions. What do you think it is? Let us know in the comments. On a daring night in August of 2023, two best friends decide to unlock a mystery. An old church, closed off to the world, whispers tales of strange occurrences. Why was it abandoned? What secrets lie within its walls? Armed with nothing but courage and curiosity, the two friends step inside. The atmosphere shifts, and inexplicable energy hangs thick in the atmosphere of the church. As they delve deeper, Trying to piece together the story, they quickly realize they're not alone. What did they uncover in this forsaken place, and was it more than they bargained for? Dive into the mystery with us and find out. Watch this. The, oh, the light's the everlasting light. It's in every church, it's always supposed to be on. It's freezing, actually. Oh. Oh my God, it smells. Oh my God, trying to step on him. That was disgusting. I hear something. I heard something. Get out. Oh, yeah, I heard something. I know you did too. 
Two friends are standing in front of a playhouse. It looks normal, but something strange and creepy is about to happen. The door begins to close on its own. And then they hear whispering again. Watch this. As you listen closely, it sounds like children playing or people praying. This is so creepy. What do you think is going on in this church? Let us know in the comments. In this scary video, a band comes together one last time. A final song, a final memory before they go their separate ways. Everything seems just as it should be. The music, the atmosphere, the energy. But then, something unexpected joins the scene. Something nobody noticed at the time. What was it? No one realized until they watched this video later. And trust us, it's spine chilling. Watch this. As the band pours their heart into the song, all eyes are on them, or so it seems. But look closer. From out of the shadows, something emerges, something that wasn't there before. Behind the TV, a evil presence lurks, unseen by the audience, unnoticed by the band, yet it watches. This is as creepy as it gets. It's the middle of the night. Everyone is asleep. But something weird is going on in this house. The family has seen some strange stuff happening lately. So they decided to put up a camera to see what's up. Want to see what they found? Keep watching. In this scary video, on May 20th, 2023, a couple of nurses gather their courage to enter a section of the hospital that even doctors and nurses are afraid to venture into alone. This spine-chilling area is none other than the old ER4, which has been abandoned for a significant period of time. Tragically, numerous patients, including children, have passed away on this floor, leading to rumors among nurses that it is haunted. Curiosity gets the better of a group of nurses working the night shift, and they decide to pay a visit to the infamous floor for some fun. You guys, haunted ER? What about it? We're gonna go. No. Haunted ER, haunted ER. I'm gonna look good too. Oh my god, my head is huge. Stop. Chloe, I so I can't even. Huh? I just close to the camera. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. We got a chance for the haunted <laughs> ER. Okay. 
I'm not excited about this. I didn't even I'm get a finish eating my sandwich. It feels like a, um, we're getting on a... Uh, you nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's cold. <laughs> are you nervous? Yes. Uh, I, sorry, I thought you were. I thought I felt you were like, right <laughs> This is freaky. You guys wave in the camera right now. Reflection. <laughs> they like see me? Mm. Uh, I feel like you're gonna see Oh, that's me. the same room. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, of course we're gonna go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, this feels weird. Is that you? Yeah. This room feels weird. Curtain move. No, it yeah, it did. It moved. No, 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 it moved. It, it moved. Yes, it did. Why it did. Move? How did you not see that? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. As the nurse ventures further into the room, a hospital curtain suddenly moves on its own, terrifying him. He swiftly flees the room, feeling unsettled. Within seconds, a cane mysteriously falls on its own. Another nurse captures the same incident from a different angle. Watch the chilling clip and prepare to be unnerved. What? Oh, oh, what? The curtain move. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Shut it up. No, it, it didn't. Yes, it did. Why would a curtain move? How do you not see that? Oh, okay. The nurses speculate that the supernatural presence they encountered could potentially be the ghost of a recently deceased child who occupied the same room. However, given the history of paranormal incidents on this floor, they also consider the possibility of it being another spirit. Regardless of its nature, this mysterious encounter leaves the nurses in the footage utterly terrified. In this next scary video, a man named Jay is peacefully relaxing in his living room when he notices something peculiar about a doll perched on a high shelf. Intrigued, he examines the doll closely and becomes deeply disturbed by what he captures. According to Jay, this particular doll was purchased at a thrift store where two other dolls of the same brand were available. Strangely, this specific doll was hidden from the rest, raising suspicions that it might be cursed or haunted. Though uncertain if this was the actual reason for its concealment, Jay's experience of living with the doll for over a year has convinced him that something is amiss. As he spends time in his living room, keeping an eye on his child, Jay captures an unnerving occurrence on camera that leaves him profoundly unsettled. 
Prepare yourself as you watch the video and witness the chilling encounter that has shaken Jay to the core. See if she moves. There it is. In a scene straight out of a horror movie, the doll slowly tilts its head to face the camera. As if aware it's being filmed, Jay is overcome with terror as he witnesses this bone-chilling movement. While many believe the doll is haunted, the truth remains unclear. Is this a paranormal event, or is there a rational explanation? The mystery continues, leaving viewers unsettled and searching for answers. In this next scary video, on March 11, 2023, a truly bizarre video surfaced online, depicting a mysterious incident inside an undisclosed hotel hallway. The origin of the footage remains unknown, as it was discovered by an anonymous individual. In the video, a woman enters the unnervingly empty corridor, completely alone. However, what is captured on camera is anything but ordinary. The footage reveals something inexplicably peculiar, sending chills down the viewer's spines. Based on the video, one can only conclude that an exceptionally peculiar incident occurred in this hallway. A plant inexplicably falls over, seemingly tipped by an unseen force. Adding to the eerie atmosphere, the woman's hair is abruptly blown forward, as if a mysterious breeze materialized out of nowhere. Naturally, this chilling occurrence left the woman in a state of extreme terror. However, according to some viewers, there is more to the story. Before any of these events unfold, as the woman enters the hallway, a faint shadow can be observed manifesting from thin air, only to swiftly vanish within seconds. Strangely, the shadow does not appear to belong to the woman, as it dissipates while she remains present. Without any explanation for the origin of this enigmatic shadow, it is believed that it may be connected to the strange activities that followed. However, as always, the truth behind these events remains shrouded in mystery. What are your thoughts on this unsettling footage? Like most clips of this nature, it leaves us with more questions than answers. On April 16, 2023, around 12 a.m., a man named Jacob awakens to an unsettling noise outside his room. Filled with fear, he musters the courage to leave his bed and confronts something that deeply unsettles him. You may recall Jacob from a previous video, where he inherited an old house along with a creepy clown doll named Jeffrey, both of which belonged to his grandmother. Due to his fear, Jacob keeps Jeffrey locked away in a separate room, far from his reach. However, one fateful night, Jacob experiences something that sends shivers down his spine. It is nearing midnight when a loud bang jolts him awake. He listens intently as more eerie sounds fill the air, realizing with a sinking feeling that they originate from the room adjacent to his own, the very room where the clown doll, Jeffrey, is kept. What happens next is enough to terrify Jacob beyond imagination. Brace yourself as you watch the spine-chilling events unfold in the video that follows.
Jacob investigates the room, but hears a loud noise downstairs. Nervously glancing down the staircase, he hears footsteps ascending, though no one is there. When he turns back, he sees the door slowly opening, revealing Jeffrey the clown doll with a changed head position. Terrified, Jacob ends the video and locks himself in his room until morning. Convinced Jeffrey is haunted, he moves the doll to the basement, hoping to prevent further incidents. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement, so I'm going to follow up. This is the result so far. I'm going to leave him here for now. But I think I'm going to put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here, so we're going to see if there's anything I miss. Learning from his past experiences, Jacob takes precautions by installing a security camera in front of Jeffrey, ensuring he is under constant surveillance. If any activity occurs, Jacob will be instantly alerted through a notification sent by the camera. A few nights later, Jacob receives a notification indicating movement inside the basement. Curious, he checks the live feed of the camera and notices it shifting from side to side. Initially, this doesn't alarm him as he realizes the camera is positioned on top of a heater with a timer that causes it to oscillate when activated. It appears that the heater simply turned on during that time. However, as Jacob continues to observe, something transpires that fills him with profound terror. Prepare yourself for what unfolds next. As the camera swings back and forth, an unsettling sight unfolds. The clown doll's arm mysteriously moves on its own. Within seconds, a deafening explosion shatters the silence as the light bulb in the basement blows out, engulfing the space in darkness. Amidst the darkness, a strange indiscernible whisper emerges, sending chills down Jacob's spine. Not much else occurs afterward, but the sequence of events is enough to solidify Jacob's decision to keep Jeffrey securely locked away in the basement. The doll continues to be recorded in case it exhibits further movement. However, Jacob has not provided any additional updates since then, leaving this video and its mysteries unresolved. In a far-off part of upstate South Carolina, hidden from the main roads and towns, there lies a dark and unsettling secret deep within the woods. Shadows seem to dance and play tricks on those who dare to venture near. The wind carries ancient whispers and echoing tales of terror. The locals, always in hushed voices, share stories of an old crumbling house shrouded in mystery and buried deep within the forest. It's a tough journey to reach this house, and one has to walk two long, unnerving miles, where every step feels watched. This house, with its peeling paint and creaky floors, feels haunted. Its very air seems to buzz with a strange eerie energy. Legend has it that a wicked witch made it her home. Those who have been lured by her charms and entered her domain have, sadly, never been heard from again. Their joyous laughter is replaced by the haunting silence of the forest. Stories passed down from older generations say the witch had once dabbled in forbidden magic and it's this power that she uses to trap souls. While this wicked witch might belong to ancient tales, the sorrowful spirits she tricked remain forever lost and wandering within the cold, lonely walls of the decaying house. Thank you signs and signals for allowing us to share this paranormal adventure. 
Be sure to check out their YouTube channel for more scary paranormal videos. Now, watch this. Oh, what? I didn't realize it was that far down. Are you going to look upstairs? I guess. Is it starting? Yeah, it feels okay. Dude, this floor does not look good up here. Huh? This floor does not look good up here. Actually, don't, don't, do not no. come up here. If these break, dude, this is a long way. What is that? Is that a bunch of birds? This is just like a barn, dude. I ain't walking on that. Yeah, that, that floor is done. Oh, David. What? 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 Holy oh, Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it, dude. That has to be it. What? Somebody's in there. Well, they definitely know we're here now, Dale. Dude, there ain't nobody in that. That shit is broken down. That's a house. That is definitely a house. It's like an old mansion. That's definitely a house. Dude, look at that, man. It has. That is so big, dude. What if you just saw someone stick their head out right there, dude? Oh, hell no. That'd be a long walk back. Are we really about to go in here, dude? We done came all this way. I hope there's somewhere I can sit. Go ahead. Did you hear that? What the hell, dude? Dude, what if there is a witch in there, dude? Something upstairs. That would do that some upstairs. 100%. Looks like. Looks like we can get in right there. If that goes in. Or if there's a door. Th this looks like. I know you heard that, right? That was... That was like somebody walking. <sighs> we're good. Like, we we're, we have protection, right? Yeah, we're good. See if we can get in from there. It's open, whatever that is. This does not look cool, dude. Dude, there's so much shit in the floor. We need to go look first. Why me? Make sure that I can walk on that floor. <sighs> look both ways. Doorbell right here. Dude, it is destroyed in here. How's the floor? Is it solid? Yeah, it feels okay right here. There's a lot of stuff to fall over there. Oh my god, dude. What? What? This, dude, this looks insane. Yeah, I'm away. I don't want to go. Dude, I do not want to go up in here. Holy shit. This looks like this used to be like a porch, but it got, somebody, they walled it off. Somebody definitely hand built this. Concrete. <laughs> it looks like people have been coming out here partying or something. Damn, that's a really old burger king cup. That's As they step into the realm of the unknown, they can't possibly fathom what awaits them in the shadows. Prepare yourself, for the witch house holds tales darker than the night itself. Tonight, the signs and signals crew ventures into the heart of this mystery. What will they find? Well, let's just say, they might not be ready for what's in store for them. You don't even really need my light. Dude, these stairs are so freaking creepy looking, dude. Oh, 
Hello? I didn't hear it. Oh, this floor does not look good. Look at it. No, look. The floor is broken. Throne. Dude. This is so much trash. This is disgusting, dude. Look at this. Is this like for the kids, you think? That might be, dude. Dude, look, somebody even nailed like a Hardy's french fry thing right here. Was that like one of the kids like Hardy's fries or something? What's in there? I'm gonna fall in this. Is there like a whole other room? It's like they didn't want any light to be in there. They was they were hanging up. What's on the left? I can't open this door. Just look in with the camera. another door right there. Really? I ain't about to go in there. Dude. What? I could have swore I just saw something move like just dart from right to left in there. No No But I didn't hear nothing. Hello? This floor feels okay. I can walk in there. Yeah, that seems like it's okay. Yeah, this floor feels okay. I don't know about going upstairs, dude. Ain't nothing. Yeah, it's kind of falling in right there. It's just so. It's just so destroyed down here. All right, you gonna take? You gonna make the leap to go upstairs? It feels bad to walk around down here. For well, me. let me check it out. Oh God! How do I get myself into these situations? How's the stairs feel? And they're not even creaking. Turn the camera. Look out of here without me. What was that? Oh, don't don't go up there. Oh, shit. Oh, bird. <laughs> Get away from me, bird. balcony right here. It's way cleaner up here than downstairs. I swear it sounds like you hear someone talking. I was just about to say, dude, dude hurry back.
Let me check that out around. There's a baby carriage. For real? Yeah. Oh my god. What? What? There's another bird. Oh. The bird is just—he he made it outside, but it is so unsafe up here. I can't come up there. No, the floor is just—it doesn't feel very good. Me walking on it. Let's do the spirit box. Alright All right, guys, so we're gonna do a spirit box session. Obviously I'm sitting down because I'm about to die over here. If anybody is here that would like to communicate with us, you can use the sounds from this device to tell us what you want us to know and responses to our questions. Is anybody here that would like to speak with us? Are you there? That was like a laugh. Are you one of the children that was... I sound like a little kid. Kids I sound like I said David. Oh, don't be saying my name. Is your name David? Bird. There's that bird in here. What's your name? Name? Uh, yeah, what's your name? Ask how many. It said 10. Like right when you said, ask how many, it said 10. Are you kids trapped here? It says she. She, she what? Us? I heard us. Are you not human? Are you not from here? That was weird. That was very weird. I've never heard that before. What was that? What was that? Hey. Hey, Dale. Something's up there. Is that that bird? That sounded like a like a scrape. Can the bird do that? I don't think a bird can make a scraping sound. Unless it hit something and it slid. I don't know. Hello? Dude, you're right there too. It's pitch black up there. I don't wanna go back you didn't up see there. Dude. Anything up there. No, like there was the nothing, there was nothing up there I saw. I don't say it's just creek, creek of the house, man. I don't know about that, dude. Ask was it them? <laughs> Me. Did you make a sound upstairs trying to get our attention? I heard like bewitched or something witch. I said yes. Oh, I've never heard that before either. Why did you do that to them children? You didn't get away with it. We know what you did. Seeing something. It was claimed that you danced with the devil. Is that true? I know for sure that wasn't the bird, Dale.
In the heart of the witch house, with its stories of the lost and restless, the signs and signals Hello? crew began to ask their questions for the deceased. As the questions pour in, so do the answers from the other side. But when the boundaries between the living and the dead start to blur, the question remains, what lurks above them? Are they alone? Or is someone or something watching them? You don't think something could be falling from the roof, do you? I don't think so. I mean, that really sounds like something dropping, to be honest. I was like, Grr. Is that bir the bird's right there. It's like I don't know, dude. <laughs> we came all the way. Too, we we are way too far from I'm civilization to even try to mess with something like this, man. Let's just finish this up. I don't even care anymore, dude. I'm I'm just so freaking tired. I really don't even care at this point. I ain't running if anything happens. Today I know. Oh my god! Oh! Hey, 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 hey. I can't live like that, man. Hey! Dale, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, that was something huge that fell up there. What the hell was that, dude? You need to go check that, dude. Why, dude? Come on, bro. For one of my sticks right there, you need to get my stick. Dude, what about your damn stick? How am I gonna walk all the way back there? Dude, what if something happens when I'm up here? Like... You got your uh, protection, right? I, I don't know if that's gonna do anything, Dale. What this is? Nobody's even supposed to be upstairs. This place is falling apart. I, I can't come up there with you, man. <laughs> I want to. See anything? Hurry up. Please. It sounded like it was from over there. Was it was it the toilet? Was the toilet already like that? Is there anything on the floor up here in the hallway? It sounded like it was from over here. It's the cradle. It's the cradle. What? The cradle's flipped. It's flipped over? The cradle's flipped over. What the fuck, dude? I don't think that it could just fall over like that, Dale. Look in the other rooms. Are you serious, man? Yeah. Isn't that cradle huge? Yeah, it is big. That's why it's such a big boom. Dude, that is crazy. Whatever flipped over, it's, it's got to still be over there. Hey, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? Dude, I'm hearing some crazy outside, dude. I don't know what's safer to stay in here or leave. I'm just gonna peek in there for a second. There's nothing up here, dude. Are you alright? 
This thing is heavy duty too. Can you flip it back over? Oh my god, it weighs a ton. There's no way this just fell over, dude. I mean, they could have. How did it look when you went up there? It looked like a normal crib just sitting here. It wasn't leaning up against something? No, no. Okay. Okay. Enough of that. There's a bird right there, too. Yeah, there's a bird right there, and there's a bird down here. Oh, dude, look at this. What? Like, look at it. What the hell is that supposed to be? Why does it have feathers all over it? Are those... Is that, is that sage? That ain't sage, is it? I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what this is, tell us in the comments. Dude, I'm just trying to... I'm so it. tired, dude. I'm so tired. I'm just trying to deep one. Like, that thing could have been, I don't know what it looked like when you was up there. It could have been leaning up against something and fell over. No, it definitely wasn't leaning on anything. I'm going to make this long ass hole all the way back home. Oh, sh**. Wait, what's that? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Go, Dale, go, 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 go. Come on, dude. Come on. There's Jeff. That was a person, Dale. I don't know. I didn't see anyone, but I just wanted to... David, dude, come in. Dude, we need to go. Go, go, go. I'm trying, dude. In a place where darkness speaks louder than light, the Signs and Signals team faced terrors unimaginable. But some stories refuse to be left unfinished. Some mysteries beckon with an even darker alder. Weeks later, against every instinct, they return. But what awaits them this time is more haunting, more chilling, and more treacherous. Watch this. Yeah, I think this goes straight to it. Oh my god, look at that place. Oh man, dude. I didn't... Well, I was thinking, I was like, we're going back, and it won't be as bad as the second time. Dude, I was wrong. I swore I thought I saw somebody's head peeking through there. Don't be messing with me this early, Dill. <laughs> Oh my god. What? It's a rabbit. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a rabbit. Ugh. Dude, something's definitely been walking over here. I mean, this could be a deer, but... It's pretty wide, too. I hate this stuff. It's like trip wires. If I go down, make sure to get it on camera. I'm watching that window, dude. People said they saw something up in that window last time. Oh, dude, something's definitely been going in here. Look how this is all flattened out compared to that. Yeah. That does not here. give me comfort. Do the intro here or? We're just going, dude. Yeah, I was about to say. I just want to just do this and get this over with. All right, buddy. You're up. <sighs> <laughs> I this, hate the. Does the light blind you? I'm dealing with it. Hello. Hello. Ring the doorbell right there, dude. If it, <laughs> imagine if it rang. occurred to me how long I was looking that way without checking this way and if I looked over here and like the first time I went in there that's what happened to me I was thinking like if something was right there it could have got me that's oh. stuff for that thing hello Anybody in here? 
Hello. They're not trying to harm you or anything. Just let us know if he wants to leave. He's starting to really set in right now. I think that smell is starting to really set in. Yeah, that, what is that smell though? I've never smelled that smell. Oh. Sorry. I'm on edge right now, Dale. Is it though? I don't know. It smells like it smells like something dead, but also like trash. And there's trash everywhere, but it didn't But the smell first time that we came here it never smelled like that. I'm going in. I don't have the best balance in the world. <laughs> Is this door open? Oh shit. It stays, it stays worse in here. Oh dude. What? I can see in, when you looked in there, I can see in there, it's like a whole hallway. It's covered up with sheets in there, dude. What the f Is anybody asleep in there? I'm gonna stick my phone in here. See the phone, so I don't know what I'm seeing. Imagine. No, like, what if you, if there was somebody in there saying I couldn't see the video? I'm pretty sure they'll tell us in the comments. Well, see, that's like got something behind it, so do you think? Where you just look that wall right stops right here along with oh, this. Okay. So I'm assuming that's outside. So that's just like a giant closet. It looks kind of like a porch, front porch. Is anybody in here? Hello? I think everything, uh, every little sound. Are you going to try to go upstairs this time? No. <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't want to be the only one to do it. It's I know. It could be just the house moving, Luke, because we're in it. Oh, yeah, I hope that it keeps moving while we're in it. I gotta go up there. Yeah, but you don't weigh, like, as much as me. Oh. There's like pictures of somebody up on the wall over there. I don't know if I should really sh show a close up of it on here. Look it's good. pictures of kids. Yeah. It's the same kids sitting on a watermelon. If anybody's up there, make yourself known. Yeah, let me check up here first. God 
Damn, Dale. And the smell's getting worse. Whatever the smell is, it's from up here. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Be careful out there, dude. I'm scared to walk on that floor right there. The crib is moved. Yes. Yeah. It's moved to the side. Cause it was blocking the doorway, I'm pretty sure last time. I'm not hundred percent on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Because I remember I tried to lift it up. Doing the spirit box really got it going last time. Yeah. I then yelled out and said, hey, anybody there? Nothing's happened yet. You don't, you don't see nobody up there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Necrophonic app. You guys tend to like that and give us good feedback whenever you use this and let us know what y'all hear if we don't pick it up. So um, also keep your eyes open for anything that's not this phone if you if you can hear it or if it picks up if you got good headphones you probably can hear stuff that we can't but all right is anybody here tonight that would like to damn <laughs> is there anybody here tonight that would like to communicate <laughs> it's like an instant no it always does that little <laughs> thinking Hide. Butch. Last time the little kids, like, were talking on there, I think. Are the spirits of the children missing still out here? Damn. Can you tell us your names? This thing just messes. This soundboard just messes with me so much. Mm -hmm. What? How many of you are here? That was a little kid. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Is that in the room or outside? I think it's outside. Bug. Oh, I remember last time there was a bird in here. Yeah, well now we got a big like mosquito hawk. Whew. I hope that's all that was. Who about you, What was the last thing we heard? We asked how many of them in here. Ask about the kids. Guys, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but stuff is definitely moving in here like it wasn't before. I wish y'all could see David's face instead of just mine. <laughs> no. He's like, oh, ah, ee. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, so there's 17 kids here?
That sounds like something walking up the stairs again. It's right around where that crib is. Maybe it has that. What if it's the kids walking around? Are you kids upstairs near the crib? <laughs> Go. <laughs> sees oh. you. Can y'all make a louder noise for us upstairs? They? They. They. Wind. Hello something. And I want to say it said hello David. No, dude, don't say that. Do you want to talk to David? You want to talk to David? Can you please tell us your names? Bill. Bill. What does he know about Bill? What's your names? I've only heard one name. Give us all your names. That sounded like it said Dill. You ain't got my name. He's just saying your name. You want me to say my name? I still hear that cat too. Can't see closer. Here. That was pretty clear. Mm-hmm. Is that y'all's cat? What? I've never heard, I that. Never heard that one. I've never heard that. I've heard this thing play a lot, and I've never heard that before. Mm-hmm. I've never heard that either. <laughs> that, yeah. Are you not going to answer any more of our questions? Like, can, can you just make a sound then? Make another sound. Dude. dude, something is up there, dude. Oh, who's that, dude? Oh, my God, dude, there's somebody up there. I already checked up there, Dale. There ain't nothing up there. Oh my God. This this happened last hey, time. If you're up, if you just want us to leave, we'll leave. Say something. They've been here before. Drawn by the call of the mysteries the witch house holds. But as history threatens to repeat the chilling symphony of ghostly noises resurfaces. This time the house unveils a secret so petrifying. So unthinkable that it promises to seal the fate of the house in the crew's memories forever. Dare to witness the event that made them vow to never return. Watch this. No, I don't know. You already looked. That was big, whatever that was. Hey, we're going to come up and just... If you want us to leave, just say something, man. Careful, dude. It sounded like it was from right there, like it was in the room. Yeah, it sounded like somebody running or tripped and fell down. Oh my god. Make sure to check each room. You see anything? No. Yeah, it smells. Check it everywhere? Yes. Is that you? What was that? Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming.
most common deal. Go, 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 It's safe to record now. Bill. <sighs> I'm not running. We, we made it out alive. We, oh. Dude. I Get swear, bro. A bitch had a knife. Could Bill, you see I, it? I just knew that we was dead. Could you see it? I didn't see. I just saw that it had like some kind of coil like on so or slow. something. Some kind of blanket or I don't know. I'm, I'm like so incredibly slow, like... Dale, I've never seen you move that fast in your life. Thank you. <laughs> but I peek back, and I just see like, I see like the, the, the blue cover she's got on, and then she's got like this whole dress underneath it, and there's just a fucking knife and a flashlight, it's just like a blade, I could tell it was a blade. I didn't see that, I just remember looking back. I could. You I was zooming. Dog. I, hey, I didn't leave you hey, completely though. Hey, I didn't leave you completely. Hey, you gotta play for NFL. <laughs> oh my God. Number three. In this scary video, an Airbnb home was found with the doors open. The owner didn't currently have any bookings for this Airbnb, and assumed it was a break-in. Shortly, the police arrive with body cams and start to investigate the home. What they captured on video is simply unbelievable, but for sure real as it gets. Watch closely. What, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke it. Does anyone live in the house? Yes. Um, my husband, myself, and our two kids, but they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right. Uh, we're going to have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any, like, pets or dogs or anything? No, no. Right. Just stay here, dude. Please, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Please.
inside. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. Downstairs, clear. Yeah, yeah, we were done. When the officer was going upstairs, you can clearly see doors open by themselves. He also hears some loud footsteps that made him turn around on the stairs. The police clear the house, and no one is in the house. How do you explain these scary events the officer witnessed and has on video? It seems to be this place is truly haunted. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Number two. In this next scary video, a woman from the Philippines was doing a video for her YouTube channel when something scared the socks off of her. This video did not go as she had planned. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure and ask for his consent, verify the client's identity and provide... Ano ba ton? Sige, pala yung basig na, sige na, sige na, sige na. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Oh, no, 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 no. So this is where it all began and this is the cabinet. And I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it. I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see, this cabinet is full of clothes and no person can actually oh my gosh, fit inside here. And this is where my brother stood. And this is the light switch. So my brother was uh, videotaping me. Uh, filming, filming here. I was standing here. And my brother was standing here. And the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened. And actually before that, we were actually experiencing um, weird things. Oh my gosh, I'm very, I'm sorry, I'm very scared. 
but this is what it looks like inside tabi tabi po no person can actually fit inside here it was actually me and my brother inside this room and right now I'm not sleeping inside this room I'm sleeping in my parents uh, room The next night she sets up a camera to record throughout the night and this is what she captures. Number 1. This scary video will send chills down your spine. It starts off with the little boy playing, and then he sees something that terrifies him. His parents don't believe him at first, but they are soon to experience such terror themselves, and they will now believe him. Watch closely as this video will scare you so bad, you won't get any sleep tonight. The parents didn't believe the child and passed it off as him just using his imagination. That is until the next morning. This is what happened. The boy tries to explain to his mom his name is Jerry. The mom doesn't buy it and says he don't exist. The next night the terror continues. This is what happens.
The paranormal activity seems to be getting worse every day. from the cupboard. Could you please drop? Started again. Well, I go to sleep now. Don't care. It's almost the same time. God, Ajay, kya hai ye? It's just near the door. Daddy, what is it? Nothing, but I just go to sleep now. Okay. Is that Jerry? Shh. I don't know. Just be quiet now. Please, I beg you. Maja, don't go. Listen to me. It's okay. Just be quiet. You can see a white mist that heads towards their bedroom. Daddy, are you scared? No, Mama. I'm not scared. Daddy, Spider-Man will come soon and rescue us. No, 
modern toilet that is here अजय मत जाओ मैं तुम्हारे पैर पड़ती हूँ प्लीज नहीं कुछ नहीं होता हूँ खबर Come here. Okay, I'm not doing this. Okay, okay.
Here you can see a white mist that is pushing the scooter. Then the mist goes and turns on the water. This house definitely has some paranormal things happening. The question is who is doing the haunting and why? Nevada desert, there's an old prison that holds more than just memories. People say that when night falls, strange things happen here. Whispers of former inmates, sounds of footsteps when no one's there, and chilling sightings in the dark corners. Many believe it's haunted by those who never left. Get ready for a journey filled with mysterious sounds and sightings as we uncover the haunted Nevada State Prison. We can't get more than 30 feet away from where we shot an intro, right? And this place is that? coming alive. What the f <laughs> Was that you? So I, did y'all hear that? Yes. Something just sat down with me. Oh, yeah. Will. Wagon. Why did you die? Or how did Chris. you die? Embark. It's there. It was there. It was mapping someone. List. It's still going off. There's two of them. I see him. There's two of them. One was on the bed. One was on the bed. One was on the toilet. All right, guys. So we are here. Nevada State Prison. Oh, my God. I love this place. I'm so excited to be back. And look who I brought with me this time. We got Sean Squatch in the building. I made the trip. He made the trip. My brother Sean is in the house. Uh, this is your first time here. And you've already seen a shadow figure. Twice now. Twice. We just entered the place. Yeah, we're just walking around, getting walked through and everything like that. And he's already seen a shadow figure. Um, and speaking of ultra super special guests, y'all give it up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Got Susan from Nevada State Prison Paranormal. Right. Um, Y'all are here, uh, and you're gonna give us like a super special walkthrough, I guess, right? Because y'all, I haven't been here in like two years now. It seems like it seems like it was like last week, but it has been a while. Um, so we are gonna start back here in the women's section, and you played me an EVP. <laughs> that don't count. How long ago was that? Was that recently? Right, that was recently. Like yeah, two months ago. Yeah, she started playing mini VP that was a blood curdling scream, y'all. Like, ah! and I was like, who who was with you that was mad? Like, what the hell? I should no, that was nobody in our group. So we're here, and y'all remember when we were here the first time. Um, I had something thrown at me down at the very end of that hallway on the other side. Uh, so, I'm freaking stoked. Oop. And my camera just shut off. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, large festival. Look at that, y'all. Off. Like, not- yeah. The Haunted Side, a fearless paranormal team, hasn't even stepped through the main doors. When suddenly, their camera malfunctions. Is this just a technical hiccup? or a forewarning of the intense paranormal activity lurking within these prison walls. That's me. Recording. We're in the women's. Um, there's nobody else on this property. No, it's just the four of us. You know, like, and y'all, nobody breaks into a prison, okay? So there's nobody running around the yard. It's the four of us. So if we're hearing somebody walking around, because I heard it over here just then. Yeah. If we're hearing walking, that's weird. So who's down there? Let's go find out. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the women's side too, which is like... That's us, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. that's me. I'm repositioning a ramp pod. This time. So, and you had all kinds of stuff happen. In here. In here, right? We've had uh, stuff thrown at people. We've had a Yeah, me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. 
And you you show me these rocks. These aren't oh, like yeah. pebbles. No. These are like the size of like a small fist. Yeah. And in C10, we get a lot of activity. That's where they Where's C10? Oh, okay, we're well, coming up on it. <laughs> Let me snap another couple pictures. Yeah. <gasps> Did you yeah. hear that? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Take a picture? Mm -hmm. Sound like something shifted too? Yes. You know what's you know, it was pretty creepy that sounded like it was about where C10 would be. Right? <clears throat> Sean, did you hear that? Yeah, but I'm hearing stuff behind me as well. So. Oh, yeah. I'm getting involved. Yeah, they always they walk up behind me. Ooh, did you? No, no, no. I just had an orb pass by my face. Right here. Right? Right here. And you bro, see it. I felt you said that, and as soon as you did, something just went. I felt a. Ch bro, I was having like. I, I have chills. So like that's dust. Dude, I know that that's dust, but I saw a hold on orb. Why, bro? I straight up got the like craziest chill. I don't even know if you could see it, dude. I got the heart like oh. craziest chill. Look. And like a second, yes, yeah, see bro. it. Yeah, a Look second later, a second later, you, you reacted. While investigating the prison, the paranormal team treads carefully every sense heightened and then out of the blue a ghost orb a ghost orb is a manifestation of spiritual energy believed by many to be a sign of paranormal presence an entity trying to communicate or a soul captured in the moment for the team this orb isn't just a fleeting moment but a gateway to the unseen remember when i said there's a woman that keeps making noise yeah. again? That's her. That's Bro, I straight it, one just no. I heard it too. You heard it. Yeah. Can you sing again, please? I hear whispering behind Dude, me. No, I straight up. What? Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Let me sit. Let me come in here because I want to see how cold you guys it's are cold. saying this is in here. Just end it for a second. Oh, I already feel it, dude. My hands are like frozen. And it's cold out there. Oh, it's cold. It's freezing in here. What the heck? Oh, Someone God. talking behind me? Oh, it said child. Oh, Sebastian. It said child. Sebastian hangs out in here. The kid and then it said, and then, yes. and then it said he was crying. It was a hotel that you said used to stand here. Right. Okay, so this is. <gasps> Did you leave the spirit box on? No. Did it's you on. Leave spirit box on? Yeah, it was on. It's off. Like the, the, the side thing is on and the top is lit. Yeah, I, I might have. I don't know. Grab, hey, Sean, grab the paratunes as well. Grab what? Grab the black box, the paratune. What the f Did was you hear that? That's them tapping. Tap again. That was right here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you heard I that? I know word? you heard that. Yes. They Come just on. went like. Oh, oh. oh, that guy's on the mic. Did he leave it on like this? Like, I know. I don't, wait, did he leave that no, part on? Right here. I know that this was yeah. on, but was that on? Wait, wait everybody stop for like, two, like five seconds. What is, is that guy screaming? Yeah. Those are coyotes. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay. No, I, I was like, why am I hearing like screaming? Alright, if y'all want, let's try and what? Do They're all over here. Did it just turn on in your Just turned on. Like it, it was on, but not even like on, and now it just turned on. I'm holding, look how I'm holding it. Okay, I was gonna tell you guys this, but between C11 and C6, we had two rim pods here, and they just go crazy. Yeah, y'all. Let's, let's stay right in here, then. Y'all, keep in mind, this is the walkthrough. You're showing us around. Sean's never been here. This is his first time here today. I haven't been here in like two years. We can't get more than 30 feet away from where we shot an intro. Right. And this place Cheers is up. coming alive. Hey. You're excited. And it's so crazy. You hear Sean. It? Like knocking. Yeah. Oh, God, that's him, right? Yeah. Sean, bring all that in here. Let's do a quick EVP session. I'll take this. 
smell myself. Oh, <laughs> wait, no, guys, remember smell? Earlier we smelled popcorn. Oh, that's right. So I've got. Have you ever smelled smell popcorn? Myself. Oh, yeah. Bed. I okay. straight up smell yeah. popcorn. Wait, bed. Bed. And also, I can smell. Oh, and I. I heard no, you smell. music. But when Chris and I are up here, we'll set smell cigarettes. As the haunted sides investigation intensifies. More voices, almost whispering secrets of the past, start to surround them. And then, an unexpected scent. Popcorn. In a prison? But that's not all. There have been tales of another scent, more familiar to these old walls. The distinct smell of burning cigarettes. A lingering memory, perhaps, of former inmates who once sought solace in smoking within these haunted prison cells. Muted right That's now. what I was saying. It shouldn't That's be making noise. That's why it's just go Yo, off. film that. It's muted right now, guys. That means it, there should be no sound coming out of that. Pretty loud. I've just me. turned it off. And, and it's I back to the glass where it should be. That's what I was saying. And it turned what it on. The, yeah. Was that? I heard a voice. It was here. Okay, here. let's try. Um, okay. We're here, boys. Yeah. Let's go EVP. All right, guys. EVP session, real quick. Okay. okay. Uh, so let's just go this way. Ask questions. Yeah, we'll go question, maybe two each. All right, ready? All right, EVP session, uh, women's. Uh, C8. C8. Um, so my name's Patrick. Can you come up and tell me your name, please? So this is Chris again. What did you mean when you said West Soul? Hi, Sebastian, are you here? It's Susan. Are you trying to reach out to us because you know that we're here to listen? come up and tell us how many spirits are in this part of the prison? I just got an orb right by your chest, comes up, and then goes and just disappeared. I got like a, I got like a chill, I kind of step back. Yes, hold on. Okay. Wait, hold on, that was not you, right? Mm. What? Female voice? Mm. No. Okay. Roll and we'll listen back. 10 seconds. So tag. Okay, tag. So, who's out here in the hallway with us? Did you die here in the prison? Or were you released and this is just where you're coming back to? See you hit this mute button again. Uh, yeah, see if you can unmute it. Would that say? Did that say something? It says no. soul. It's, yeah, it's it's right. So let's listen back to this one, guys. We'll see if we hear anything crazy. All right, EVP session, uh, women's. Uh, C8. C8. Um, so my name's Patrick. Can you come up and tell me your name, please? Go back to when he introduces himself. Yeah. Did it good. say hi? Yeah. Did they say hi this to us again? What did you mean when you said West Soul? Did I go back for him? I thought I heard footsteps. So this is Chris again. What did you mean when you said West Soul? Right there. I hear something. Yeah. Yeah. The temp just dropped two Could degrees. Hi, Sebastian. Are you here? It's Susan. Are you trying to reach out to us because you know that we're here to listen? Can you come up and tell us how many spirits are in this part of the prison? I just 
jump more right on your chest. Thank you. Now that he made that move, just disappeared. I got like a, I got like a chill. I kind of step back. Yeah, something. Are you trying to reach out right now? What was that? Is that like a? Eh? It's like. Are you trying to reach out? Right swallowing? Now? It might be us. That wasn't us. Are you yeah. trying to yeah. reach out right now? It's like a like a weird swallow. Well, guess what? I've got it on here yeah. too. Are you trying to reach out right now? Can you push one of us? Great. <laughs> Sorry. Dad. 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 Guys, the thoughts and, and feelings and opinions of the guests are <laughs> solely that of the guests. If they want to, if he wants to get pushed, go right ahead. They're already pushing me down one of the hallways. I'm, I'm used to it. They, they push me. There's, okay. there's, there's a female voice. If he wants to get pushed, go right ahead. There's a female voice right here. They're already pushing me down one of the hallways. I'm, I'm used to it. They, they push me. Oh, what do you think? Okay, see? I heard footsteps. I just heard like someone like you know, in a cell or something yeah, already over we'll, here. We'll listen back. Ten seconds. So okay. Okay. So who's out here in the hallway with us? Did you die here in the prison, or were you released and this is just where you're coming back to? Crazy. Okay, um, let's go down this way because the first time I was here, or the, really the first and last time I was here, uh, okay. I got something thrown at me. What is this? Watch. The Look. Flip muted and it started again. And you're not touching anything. Oh, look at this. Talk, right? Look what she got. What? As they delve deeper into the investigation, suddenly, a glowing orb emerges from a nearby prison cell and floats across the screen. One of the investigators points and quickly captures it on their phone. We see a close-up of the phone screen, showing the orb more distinctly. Could this just be a speck of dust caught in the flashlight's beam? Or is it truly a manifestation of the paranormal? Look closely. Observe its movement, its glow, its essence. What do you think? Dust or genuine ghost orb? Share your thoughts, your theories, your beliefs. Let us know in the comments. Right? But Spit nothing out, that big. But that's crazy. Yeah. Man. That's that's pretty massive. And when I heard something out here, that's why I walked out here and I start filming because okay, I press the button hear again. footsteps over here. You heard that? Did you hear that woman oh, moan? That was a moan. That was as loud her. as hell. Moan. Go that way. You heard that? Did you hear that woman oh, moan? That was a moan. That was as loud as hell. Moan. Go that way. Go that way, guys. Go that way. Sean, it just restarted. Take it down there. Take it. Leave it on. Yeah, take it down there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the hell happens. Patrick, didn't you say uh, you got something here in this storage area? The, yeah, it was like something got thrown at me in there. Watch your step. What is Dollar it? Said a word. No palace. No palace. Yeah, I was walking through right here. Yeah. I think we were actually going this way. Oh yeah, I and, can see that. And and, and uh, yeah, it was right here, and I was going this way, and we heard something in there as I got to right here, and I was like, Yeah. Okay. And why is it says that it's muted? I don't like that. What'd you do to my spirit box, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it started when I touched it. I got scared and far. <coughs> okay. 
Oh, what is it? Sacrifice? No, we're not going to sacrifice yeah, anyone. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, Mike's gone. <laughs> what is this? This used to be the thing that opens. The oh, it's the other side. Band. Yeah, you, if there's like a crazy. No, this is not something from a band. This is what opens the door. Yeah, it's like a big wheel that wouldn't open. Oh, okay. So open then the you would actually, if you Judge. wanted this to be open and these closed, that's what you would do. Okay. What the fuck? That was, that was me. To law library. Sean, you want. Sean, do you want inside the death row or outside the death row? I go inside. inside I got jeans on. <laughs> So there's my brother Sean, he's the newest uh, death row inmate. Equation state. Bro, do me a favor. Hold on. Start back over here, Sean, and walk like about this fast. I want to see. Oh my god. <laughs> That's strange. I want to see if uh, the oh, first paranormal event. Yeah, right. I want to see if I can recreate when it, that black shadow, that black mist, like covered my face. Okay, so just like walk, like we'll just keep walking. I'm gonna get ready. So if you're here, can you try to walk a little bit slower? Can you walk and try to cover Sean's face really quickly? Oh, that's. Bro, it is freezing here right now. Dude, it is cold to say the least. I just got a really bad vertigo. Did you? Like super like... Like you're walking through something and you're on a boat. Yeah, I feel, right? like, I feel like yeah. I'm like... You're swaying. Like sea legs. Yeah, I feel like I've been in the ocean and I'm like feeling dizzy. So the terminology that I have here is surface, creek, and before time. Creek. Oh, I don't like before time. Before time? Yeah. Weird and stuff happens. Okay, before. let me tell like, you we're something. We're going to tree stars, Littlefoot. Let me tell you something. Before time, we have gotten a medium in here, and she said there's something here before time existed. Oh, God. It's lived on this planet. It's not human. It's nothing but of this place. Mm. Before time. So that's weird. That's not terrifying. <laughs> were, were these written by? Yeah. yeah. Wait, did you oh, look over here? Come over here. Right here. What's this one say? Dia, Dio, S. That's Spanish. The truth shall set you free. Free your minds or my brothers. Or my brothers. But look at this in here. Oh my god. Is that cool? And you know what? They would draw under the beds. So that um, if you go under there, you'll see drawings there too. Does that one happen? Yeah, it's got sketch yeah. little stuff yeah. drawn on it. Is that crazy? They would lay under there and draw. Jeez. And then the white stuff is too taste. Okay, I can hear this. Weird, funky feeling out of my skull. Yeah, my Snoopy, ears. something I my swear, something ringing. something like staticky right here. Feel how cold it is. Oh, it's hot. No, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's ice frozen. It's ice cold here. I think you get notice how this has not unmuted itself. No, that's crazy. So I just told them, look under the bed. They used to draw, lay under here and draw. Sure enough, he went under there. White or wire, wire. sure. Q Q. Oh. El Cha El Chivo El Yeah. But you have to remember these guys in here, their next step was in last. Well that's night. the execution chamber right yeah. here, right? Right. Let's go check it out. Do we get paranormal in here? Not a lot. Because I think if you die here, why would you want to be here, right? 
That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Unless you just didn't have a choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you were just that's like the thing, like the, the Sebastian kid. To your left. Yeah, that's what I think. Like the the kid Sebastian, the, that kid's voice we heard. Okay. Oh God, that's too terrible. Come here. I'm gonna show you something. Oh, 100 percent. Whoa! Something. I swear, something made a noise in there. I'll do you one further. Something to block that window. What? Hold on. Get the get the get the laser. Laser. Do it again. Sean, you can zoom in down that hallway too. It'll like go damn near to the end. You think you can move in front of this little beam right here? Footsteps. I hear footsteps behind me, inside death row. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Sean. That's not yes. Bro. Look right in there. <laughs> Venturing deeper into the heart of the prison, the team finds themselves standing at the very entrance to the execution chamber. But this is no ordinary room. The wall bears a grim testament to the past. Photos of every inmate who ever found themselves on death row. It's a chilling gallery of faces, souls who met their fate in this very chamber. Each gaze frozen in time, a silent witness to the prison's dark legacy. Imagine the stories, the final moments, the emotions. This wall isn't just a reminder. It's a palpable presence, and it's downright creepy. Hunter? Hunter. And here we are talking about him. Yeah. You I heard I've that. just heard that. It's like something came, like something shifted in here, and I got chills up my back right now. Hey, Sebastian. And you know, real quick, what's like not the same as the last time I was here? Y'all put the pictures. Uh, these are the people who were executed. Executed. Yes. Now this was not like this before. I mean, read these. This guy was 17 years old. And this, this guy murdered his five-month-old son. Oh, God. Look at these guys. Look at how dark their eyes are. Yeah, that, yeah there's some. Okay, this is just kidding. Oh. I heard that. You got something to say? Go ahead. Are you one of the pictures in front of us? Jesse Bishop. Bro, take the spirit box. <laughs> did you say your, did your, did did your name Robert? Robert? Yeah, I was gonna say take the spirit box and walk through. Sorry, Shepherd 60 gone. Shepherd. The, the last, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the last one, and it's literally going. And it goes this way. So he was the first, which means lethal injection. Whoa. All the way, he was the last one to be gassed, Jesse Bishop. Oh, man. Yeah. So when you see these, they're yeah. telling you a little history. All these guys were That's gassed. Funny. These two guys were gassed. Whoa, no, 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 no. What? It's not like someone was running behind here. Oh, yeah. Down the hall. Meat. Tag. When I'm about to eat you on this, I'm going to say meat. Oh. What the hell is that? That's a creepy sounding voice. Hey, Guy, are you here? You can come and talk with us. Okay. 
caught a, or not even the EVP, it was a uh, disembodied voice. Well, That's like a full sentence that I heard. Carol Cole is, was the lead too. Yeah. Sean, sit right this there. Is me. I'm gonna sit in. Oh, I'm rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, EVP session in the, was it last days? Cell? Last night cells. Last night cells. So last time I was here, there was a really loud sentence that I heard. Can you come up and say something like that again? Were you wrongly accused? Are you trying to reach out to us? Mr. Cole, do you want to say anything? I got footsteps in the hallway again. Do you know who's running around in the hallway? Can you come into one of these cells and talk to us, please. Do you have anything important that you were trying to do before you left? David Blackwell, are you in here? What the? Yes. That was right. It was at the toilet, right next to me. After I said David Blackwell. Okay, I stopped. Okay. I stopped the. I stopped. 
What the f <laughs> Was that you? So I, did y'all hear that? Yes. Something just sat down with me. Oh yeah, on the bed, they do that. What? What the, did, I, he tell me you heard, heard that. Oh yeah, we heard it. Loud I have not moved. Is that on your, you turned it I off? turned, but this is rolling. Oh good, good, good. Y'all, no. straight up, it was like, boom, like heavy. Yeah. yeah, I heard it. Like, if I came in, yeah, like that. that's exactly what it's like. And that about. takes, because look, it pops up. So something sat by you. Oh, I didn't even realize it does. Yeah, we've had oh, this happen. Oh my god. Is that crazy? The team decides to conduct an EVP session, a chance to communicate with the spirits that might still linger here. The session is quiet, intense. But then, something, or someone, seems to sit down next to him on the cold metal bench making a clear popping sound. This is both terrifying and fascinating. Is this a mere coincidence, or is it a tangible piece of evidence suggesting that the prison might truly be haunted? What do you think? A simple coincidence, or proof of a presence from the other side? There are all kinds of... Oh, oh come here. Get your camera in here. I was recording here all this time. I need to find out who was in this cell. Did, uh, did you just see something in front of me right here? Oh, you have the screen looking away. I swear to God, I just saw something like some weird light anomaly right here in front of my face. Well, and that's it. You have it on the film. It and I watched it. Right you got right at me. Look, I went like this. So no, no, we had me. nothing. Yeah, okay. we had nothing to do with you. It was like a. Small line. Black and light. Well, see, right before it, though, it felt like I was kind of teetering over, like somebody was trying yeah. to push me. That's why I stood up against the door. Oh, my God. Okay. So, let's... it passed me. You saw it. I swear to God, something, it was like right here. Yeah. Wispy. <laughs> Welcome back to Nice little something. That's cool. Come on in here. Well, okay. I did ask it to push me. So, look yeah. at this. Sean, come over here. Look. Listen, Sean, watch. When yeah. you sit down, Sean, that, that's what just happened next to me. Like either someone got up. Damn. And I have not moved. That thing's got a lowered suspension on it. But we get this all the time with <laughs> investigators. It's insane that like, I'm, like even the first time I was here, you, I, I had met you. No. This is the no. first day that I met you. Yeah. And we're going through and you're like showing me all these things and it's like, oh yeah, that happened to me. And you're like, that, that happens here. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say anything. Yeah, oh, it's insane. Catch. Unbelievable. Okay, let's listen to this and see if we capture Oh, I'm rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, EVP session in the, was it last day's cell? Last night's cell. Last night's cell. Um, so last time I was here, there was a really loud sentence that I heard. Can you come up and say something like that again? That's whispering. Yeah. Listen. Were you wrongly accused? Hold on. Right there. Were you wrongly accused? Are you trying to reach out to us? What the? That was right. So it was like a 
Sit down. My ears are ringing. Where's the red pot? Let me see the red pot. No, it's in the next cell. I had it on. Looks like it's our last night here. Sean, that's you. Yeah, it is. God Wagon. God Wagon. Sounds like a name. Wait, God? God Wagon. Okay, so. Are you praying? What was that? It was like a f sentence almost. Like. Sounds like a name. Wait, God? God Wagon. Okay, so. Are you praying? What was that? It was like a f sentence almost. Like, I have it. I do the best reenactments. I know. Right. I'm, I'm pretty clean up. I was pretty close. Please. Who's talking? So Bud Thompson, he's the guy that turned to God big time. He wrote poems. I know. Sean, that wasn't here. me this time. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Sean. <laughs> he wrote poems in here. Can you make a noise like this, please? If you can hear us. Something really loud like this. Was that you, Sean? That was right. Yeah, that was right. Yeah, that was right. Welcome to A Block, guys. Yep. All right, who's in here? Are we allowed to be on the prisoner side of the bars? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Maze, maximum, unclear. Tube, stay, music, truck. Jeez, it said ma it said uh, maze and maximum. Got really cold right here, and it's hot in here. Yeah, if you all right here on my like my legs got. Cold. Well, it's hot in here, dude. I'm sweating, and I've got full body chills right now. Like <laughs> it's. Very as the second chapter of the investigation unfolds, the haunted side team treads cautiously down a notorious cell block row. Above, Satan. Whoa, Through. whoa. Above, Satan. Whoa, Through. whoa. Did you hear how weird it said it too? Yeah. <laughs> One team member says, can you feel that? It's like static all around us. Hair standing on end, a thick static filling the air. Signs many believe indicate a presence trying to bridge the gap between their world and ours. This static, some say, is more than just a feeling. It's the very essence of spirits trying to use the ambient energy to manifest themselves. What will the haunted side uncover as they delve deeper into the prison's enigma? Watch this. Decided, since we're in the prison, and more than likely the spirits we're going to be contacting were prisoners Sad. here. That we had to be a little bit more assertive <gasps> in our communication. Dude, it said stab and it appeared literally sitting on the toilet right there. Sub. 
sub submissive oh sight what was that heavy right there it's right on the other side of the right wall right there aggression are you guys angry that we're here are you angry that we can just walk wherever we want Go wherever we want. We can leave if we choose. Castle. Holy. Demand. Be Demand. Do you regret what you did? Dude, it is so terrifying. Uh to walk through here in the dark. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like when the... Puncture, monitor, sad. Okay, I have never been on an investigation where Chills. that thing just Pat. does not shut up. Watch, row. It is ridiculous. Chills, Aim. watch, row. Do we wanna go back behind them? <laughs> Guys. Mike. I heard hear that. that. Us. Two. Drunk. No, turn that off. Gravity. Ship. right here bro yeah hello who's back there did you hear me no I heard me I so what was that I swear I heard me but it sounded like it's I don't even know, man. It sounded like it came from way back there, though. I don't know what this place is. I don't know what this place is. Dude, what do you think this was? Holding cell? What is this? Yeah, it looks like just like a holding cell. Maybe prisoner intake? I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way to put him. I don't know. It's definitely colder back here too. It is. that stupid step <laughs> oh, look like it's playing my eyes but it looked like that so guys there's two so did you hear that no what did you hear like a <laughs> so guys there's two so did you hear that no what did you hear like a so there's two sides to these parts the guard side and the prisoner side sounded like a laugh here I'll be the I'll be the prisoner you be the can you get in there yeah oh and there's the the barber chair You in there getting your hair cut?
I'm the newest prisoner. Which cell's mine? Which cell's mine? We got a new guard too. Whoa. Anything? So, it's not mapping anything, but some I thought I saw like a shadow move across. And it wasn't wasn't me, was it? No. Well what was that? I don't know. It sounds like walking. Yeah. Oh, dude. I don't feel good at all right now. Am I in A4? Did you hear something say B? No. Starting to get the chills again. Are you around here? That was a door opening, dude. Did you hear it? I squeaked. Yeah, I heard that. I think that's upstairs. Scene, preacher. Seen preacher? Do you need a preacher? Whoa, Whoa dude. Whoa. Yep. Ledge. Dude. Dust. I got full body Goth. chills. Yep. Like I am hot in here. That was close. Yeah, that was like just just a few cells down. Okay, we're almost to the end. Do we go back? Back down that way? Where that sound was. Yeah, I think we have to actually. Well, we could go that way, but. Hmm? Oh, I totally heard it. it Sounds like something on the metal, dude. It hit the toilet, bro. It hit the toilet, bro. As the haunted sides investigation unfolds, the prison's mysteries seem to deepen. As one investigator takes a step into the cell, there's a sudden, unexpected sound. Something, unseeable to the eye, strikes the toilet, producing that strange ping. It's as if the very walls of the cell have come alive. Is this the playful antics of a spirit, perhaps an inmate of long ago? Or is it a bolder statement? a ghostly declaration, insisting on being acknowledged in our realm. Are the ghosts of the past reaching out, playing games, or trying to make their presence felt? One thing's for sure, the haunted side is on the brink of uncovering truths that have been hidden in shadows for far too long. <sighs> yeah, it's gotta be dust, okay. Okay, I see it. I absolutely heard that. If you're down there, can you walk this way? Walk up to us. Now. I heard that. It's like another footstep. Okay. Uh, Dead end? Yeah. Because we can't go through there, right? Yeah, that's nope. locked. Nope.
Okay, so we're hearing a ton of noises on the first floor, the A block. Uh, let's go up to B block, because I think that's also where the execution chamber is. Yes. Wasn't it like right over here too that they they have the sign that an inmate got stabbed right here? Yeah, I think so. I want to say it was, I don't think it is B block. Because I, Did you hear that? What? Something tapped on the glass, but on this side. You didn't hear that noise? No. I don't think it is B block. Because I, did you hear that? Dude, I'm not kidding. It was this loud. No, it didn't even sound like that. Like that. That's exactly what it sounded like. Actually, I jumped because I was walking over here. And I was like, Ooh. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. We hear that this is where they keep the the really bad guys. No, not in this one. It's literally all around us right now. Did you hear that? And then I heard something back there. Yeah. We haven't even gotten to the place where they would keep the solo oh, people. Oh, the, yeah, the, the like really, really. The cells with one bed because they're not allowed to have roommates. So a crazy story. Somewhere in this prison, we don't know which cell, but one of the prisoners, oh, it was mapping somebody. Was it? Yeah, in the cell. In the cell? Yeah. B7. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Talk about the guy that... There was someone, they had cells next to each other and they had an argument. I'm gonna go on that side. And uh, right there. one of the prisoners didn't take kindly to that argument. So he managed to set the other guy on fire in his cell. And the crazy part is that guy lived to explain to people what happened and then he died. That's what I heard. Loud. That's what I heard. What on earth? That's a door. That's legit a door. That sounds like a cough. Which cell was it? Was that you? No, but that was literally directly behind me. Which cell? We heard you got set on fire. Did you deserve that? Date, violent, assault. Violent assault? And date. Are you trying to tell us when you got violently assaulted? Ooh. No, it doesn't want to say anything. No, my arm felt weird for a second. You know what's really weird, dude? Every time I get close to where the execution chamber is, I get a weird feeling in my, in my, a weird feeling in my arm that feels like if you've ever had an IV and they put the, hmm. the IV in and then you can feel the, the like saline and stuff going through, that's what it feels like that's on creepy. my left side. That's creepy. Which is where it would have been. Oh. 
Oh, oh. I was right in front of us. That's crazy because I, I mean, this place is. What the? Bro? I just saw a face. Like in that cell? Right which, there. Which cell? This one? The one on the left. So B2. B2. Holy shit. Who's in B2? Someone who wants to talk to us? Dude, I'm not even kidding you. It was, it, it looked like somebody was laying with their, it looked like somebody was laying, oh, they're there, they're there. They're, it, they're right inside the door of B2. Yeah, they are. Did I see you? Did I see your face? Gone. It looked like somebody was laying down with their head facing us, like laying on their stomach looking up. That's what I looked over and I saw. Let's go over there. Can we get in right here? I think we can. No. Yeah. Was it B2? Yeah, it was right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, it's... Oh, it's cold. Feel right here. All that static. Yeah. Can I... Oh, dude, I got enter? bad spider web all on my arm right now. Bunk check. We're gonna toss this cell. How do you feel about that? Listen, we think we saw you. You can talk to us. No one has to know. I saw your face right there. Whew. Wow. It gets roasty in here too. Huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's let's head upstairs. Let's Head towards the execution chamber. Oh yeah. I'm telling you man, every time I come right here. Are you in here? Did you hear that? It knocked back, dude. Did you hear that? I don't think it came from down there. It came from like... Did it come from here? Yeah. It was on metal. Yeah, it was dink. Right? Yeah. Hello? Can we try that again? Can not <sighs> yield. Let's try that again. Expect That's concrete. Value. That was Sorry. concrete. Tag. Jeez. What was that? Dude. What was that? Do we go down there? Yes. This is a dead end too. No, not, well. This, like down here, turn and come back. This is the only way to get in through here. Hold on, let's knock again. Ready? I'm gonna knock against this. Dude, 
you twice in like a minute? Are you kidding me? Out. Are you out of your cell? Are you in the law library? Disease. No. Disease? Soccer. Some. Gay. You down there? Dog. Was that no, you? That was me. Sorry. Themselves. Farmers. Roses. Oh, I. Ravine. Roger. Are you working? You need to put away all those clothes. Drop what the? This. Did you hear the noise before that? No, I heard it in here. What did you hear? Like rustling. Oh. But there's, there's literally nothing in here to rustle. Dude, I'm not kidding. I heard. Dude. Ty. Oh. <gasps> what? Copper. I. Sh File. Evil. Uh huh. Yeah. Come. Come. Example. This. Only. Scared. Coffin. I don't like Andy. anything Andy. you're saying. Jess this wanted. Feel the change right here, dude. Feet. Jupiter. Group. Wicked. Hello? Justice. Drive. Wicked. Young. Justice. Eight. Oh my god. Dude, and I saw it was a person, dude. Jumped. Faye. Did you hear that? Yeah. Witch. There was a person standing here. Were you on the phone? Trying to make a phone call? Happens. Deal. Who are you talking to? Do run. That was back there. No, I heard that. And the obelisk said, do run. Here. Let's set it right there. Oh, man. He, dude, uh, this whole section right here. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Does not feel right at all. Yeah. Should we do EVP session? Yes. I got a digital recorder right here. If you are out of your cell, you need to return to it. We're doing an inspection. That was right here, dude. It was right here. It was in this cell, in this cell. I heard it down there now. Did you hear that? Uh-huh. Same sound. Are you in here? Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna set this somewhere that it won't fall. Be better right here. I just won't be able to see if anything pops up, but okay. Try EVP session literally just right here. Okay. We're gonna check this bunk. 
Tell me what your name is. Or maybe your roommate, what's your name? Did you hear that? I heard a voice. What are you in here for? Did you deserve it? Oh my God. Hmm. What? Oh. I saw something move, it looked it, like a lizard. Oh my gosh. Like a lizard came over here. But I heard that, you heard that noise. Yeah, oh yeah. That was like a metal clunk. Going down this way, and then we can end at the. Okay. Listen to the rest of that later. Stay on this side though, so you don't get locked in, right? Yeah, right. I'm gonna walk down. Use your use the energy you have, and try and make this say something. Tell us why you're here. You have anything to say? Oh, yep. Did you get somebody? Yep. Did you die in this room? Did you hear that? I did. It's right next to you. Did you die in here? I thought I heard something. That's something. tapping on a cell. So you heard that? Jump. Not. Jump not. What happened in here? This doesn't look right. Lock. Drive. Said lock. Look. Oh, we're looking. Spirits. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man, here it is. It's like every time I walk through this. Pop. Religion. Every time I walk through this door, man, it's something changes. It's mapping somebody in there. It is not. I can't even make that up, dude. And it looks like within. And it looks like they're laying down even. 
I can't. I got too much reflection. As they navigate the prison's maze, a particular room beckons them. They are approaching the execution room, and with every step, the atmosphere thickens. A heavy weight, a shift in energy, as if the very walls remember the events they've witnessed. And then, amidst the cold steel and shadowy corners, the haunted side team captures the unthinkable. An outline, an impression of someone who once lay there. Could this be the lingering spirit of a former inmate, a soul who met his fate in this very room and now remains tethered to his final earthly moments? As the haunted side delves deeper into this chilling discovery, one can't help but wonder what secrets will be unveiled next. Stay with us as we uncover the mysteries of the past. Is that you? Hear that, bro? There's like a weird, like black mass that's kind of by the door. Sensory deprivation? Or do we do that? Let's do that later. Let's go back, maybe in the back. The cells. Is there anybody in here? Is there someone waiting for their final meal? Was that you? Was that you? No, was that you? That was not me. Ooh. Was it this? I, I, it must have been. I thought that was open. And I was looking in here, and I saw a shadow move at that same time. Was that you? Was that you? So I opened it, and it does come shut on its own weight. But it stops before it hits. That's weird. That's so weird. I thought that was you. No. So this is the microphone. And there's... There's enough space in there. That we can set it like that and hopefully pick up some sounds. Yeah. What the hell was that noise, dude? It was like, Ugh! Oh yeah. Hello? We're coming in here to get you. It's your turn. Wow, that was, that was creepy. That was not okay. That sound was freaky. Oh, you know what those holes are for? What? What the hell? What are the holes for? Feed the IV lines through, so the person in the control room would administer would administer the drugs. Oh, dude, one hundred percent. So let's I don't know, just maybe set it like right here.
Okay. Who's in there? It's got a really weird pain in my throat. I was just about to say, like, my whole throat <coughs> dried up. Yeah, I've got a weird pain in my throat. That was weird. Okay. If you've got last words, say them. I'm starting to turn these on. Are you innocent? Okay. Where is the hose? Who's in there? Did you leave it in there? Oh yeah, my son. Let me grab that speaker off of it. Must have just left it like right here, huh? I say we just leave one right here. Okay. Jeez, man. EVP, execution room. Overnight. <laughs> So we have a whole nother floor. Let's go check it out. Come on. Tip. Tip. I heard that. Are you down there? Whoa, what was right that there? That was here. Whoa, what was right that there? That was here. Forty-one. Did you die in here? It's everywhere around us right now. It's cold in here. Cost. I'm not cold. I'm burning up. It's cold in here. Cost. I'm not cold. I'm burning up.
That's weird. That must be like a privacy shield for. I don't know. All right, here's B section. Oh, this is where it was, huh? Because they said section B of the west, of the west side, which is right here. So somebody died right here. Paint. Paint. Inmate murdered here, approximately 1981. Murder happened in this cell. Oh man. Jason goes in first. Dude, this cell is painted. Look on the floor. Look all around you. This cell is painted a different color. White versus white, 1981. Sand, constant. Uh-huh, did you hear that? It was like right yep. there. Yep, yep. Step back in the corner right here. Will, wagon. Why did you die? Or how did you Chris die? Embark. It's there. It was there. It was mapping someone. List. It's still going off. There's two of them. I see him. There's two of them. One was on the bed. One was on the bed, one was on the toilet. This investigation of Nevada's most haunted prison has been nothing short of electrifying. Time and again, the haunted side team has unearthed compelling paranormal evidence. From mysterious outlines of entities lurking in the shadows to the chilling ambience of the prison cells, the findings have been spine tingling. The way these entities have been captured, fleeting, yet distinct, adds to the unsettling allure of this haunted location. It's as if the spirits are adamant about telling their stories, breaking through the barriers of time and space. But we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this investigation? Do you believe in the secrets this prison guards? Share your insights, theories, and speculations in the comments below. But don't go anywhere just yet. The investigation is far from over. Join us as we delve much deeper into the prison's mysteries and uncover what awaits in its darkest corners. Did I just see you? Oh man, I just got wicked chills. Uh -huh. Is there a ghost on this side? Is that why they labeled this whole floor ghost? You smell that? I do. Maps. I heard that. Yeah. I heard oh. that. It was right here. It was in here. What are you doing in there? Stay out, stay alive. Mackie. That came from the Mackie Mansion. They legit have those stickers in the Mackie Mansion, bro. What the hell? It sounded like keys. Hello? D4. They do, man. They have those in the... I know. You have one on one of your cases, don't you? Yeah. Shh. <gasps> Who's walking around back here? You're supposed to be in your bunk. Whistle. Did you not hear the whistle? No, I did not hear a whistle. Oh, I keep hearing stuff. Oh, I didn't know it's hot. Hot, hot, hot in yeah. here.
Can we get out this side? I have no idea. I've never been this far. It was mapping you, but then it mapped a huge figure next to you. I always love that. Dude, the hairs on the back of my neck are just standing up right now. Mm -hmm. Who's down here? That sounded like it said me. Oh man. Holy. Mm -hmm. It was like two down. One or two down, maybe the one on the end. No such luck. You know, I really don't like the idea of walking back. Dude, I am sweating. Mm -hmm. It's so hot in here. It's probably like 100 degrees. I just wonder... Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you just say my name? I didn't say a word. Something went bad. I didn't say a word. Something said Pat. Okay. Was it? I don't know if it was here. Yeah, you definitely heard that. Metal on metal. Yep. Oh my god. Oh dude, I got a pain in my like the back of my head. That was me. I don't know why, but this place doesn't feel right. We can. All right, guys. We are making our way up the stairs to the execution chamber. Did you smell that? No. What did you smell? Like a rotten egg smell. Oh no, I did not. It was, it was quick. That is I don't not smell good. it anymore. That is not good. <laughs> no. Four. Carpet. There it is again, right here. Strong. Oh, it's gone again. Record. Dan. I don't know. Record Dan? Bill. Bill? Reached. Paula. Book. Sight. Why is it going off so much? I don't know. It's a lot of words. Is there a bell here? Stay. Whoa. It's the same corner. Feel the cold air right here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S same corner where we caught the figure. Printed. 
January. Gauze. Are you back here? Okay, that was... Do you hear walking? I do, and I just caught a figure. It was like a black shadow that was about half... Yell. Are you gonna yell? Go ahead, yell as loud as you can. Now I'm burning up. The cold is yeah, disappeared. Cold is but I saw a uh, black shadow about halfway up the stairs disappear into the wall to your left. And I saw it on the camera. Great. What was that talking? Did you hear that? Whoa, that was not here, that was there. Oh, I don't like this. Hello? You saw that, right? Yep. Oh, big ass, oh, no, it's probably a bug. It's probably a bug. Okay. It's me. Hey, dude. This is the one we can shut. Oh, is it? Yeah. You wanna do the honors? Yeah. Oh, let me let me get a shot of it. Alright guys, we're locking you in. That was way out there. That was way out there. We just locked all the cells. What are you doing out? So where should we do this? Um, should I just be like here? Just on the other side of this? Yeah. How many spirits are in here? Ooh, man, it's just a three. What did you do? Uh, two of them said, I don't believe in God. What did you do to end up on that table? 
Oh, the same female voice said, I do believe in God. Did you get the needle or did you get the gas? I think I just saw a shadow right behind him in the chamber. That's him. Tell me your name. How old were you when you died? Ooh. Man's voice said something I couldn't make it out there was like. A man's voice said, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? Whoa. A man's voice said something like, sometimes it's just energy or something like that. Man's voice said 54. Did you hurt someone? Is that why you're here? Saw the shadow again. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It was behind him on the door. A slight shimmery effect. Man, a weird voice said yes. I'm gonna turn on the night vision. Maybe we can see it. Is there someone in that chamber right now? Uh, my husband said phone. The phone never rang. The governor did not call. You died. Leave. My husband said leave. You died in that chamber. Oh, bro, it too bad for you said he died on Tuesday. Did you deserve to die? Were you innocent? Oh, man, so I go away. You were guilty. That is how you ended up on that table. Because you did what they said you did. Isn't that true? Speak now. This is your last chance. Something people see me. Tell me your name. I heard that. There was a noise out there. Man, so I said, a stranger. Another man said, threats. There's another sound. Is someone coming in here? Are you here to witness? Dude. That was intense. So at the very end, I started hearing things out there. Like footsteps. But, uh, like halfway through, like twice, there was a shimmer behind you at the doorway to the chamber. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's moving right next to us. I was saying, you know, when we do that, you can like sense things. Yeah.
Like you see things moving, I saw things moving. All right, guys, so unfortunately, we're not allowed in the actual chamber, uh, the execution chamber. However, there are the, um, the tiny little holes that Jason and I kind of assumed that maybe that's where the, the tubes went in for the lethal injections. Um, I've got a microphone that has a long cable. Uh, I'm going to just stick it down into that hole right there and see if anything, um, if we capture anything. Let's try it. That was weird. Okay, EVP session, uh, microphone going into the execution chamber. I don't know if you can tell or if you can see it, but yeah, so there's a recorder running down in there, but there's too much of a glare, you can't see all the way down. So we're just gonna leave that in there and uh, review it later. Those headphones are loud. I can. Oh, they are super loud. I can hear them down. Yeah, I can literally hear it from here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who's uh, in there with Jason? Is it your last day? What did you want? What was your last meal request? What day are you supposed to be executed? I'm still getting just a lot of radio. Can we try it in like the hole? Or the hole? Yeah. Maybe I should just sit in the other room. Okay. And we'll both. Is that you? I snapped you. No, 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 no. The, it, like bang. I heard like a, like a solid, like... No. You ready? Yeah. EVP, final cell.
Is there anybody in this cell with me? Is this where you spent your last day? What did you eat for your last meal? Were you repentant? Did you do what you were accused of doing? Why are you still here? Were you afraid? Tell me your name. If anyone is here with us, make a noise. Let us know you are here. I'm going to count to three. When I hit three, let us know you're here. One, two, three. Did you hear that? Which part? There was like a tap. Is there another cell at the very end right here? No. Yeah, something tapped out here. I don't know what this is. Was it a shower? So it is a shower? Yeah, there's a shower down at the very end. feeling to feel when you're in there, huh? Were you repentant? Did you do what you were accused of doing? Why are you still here?
Let us know you're here. One, two, three. My camera picked it up for sure. Right after three, it was like down in the in the corner, down in the end. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Let's walk down. Uh, you know what? Let's do solo. I'll do. I'll take a night vision camera. I'll take a night vision camera. And walk down to the end of this hall. All the way down around, you go up one floor, go all the way down and around. Ah. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't know. Let's do that. Yeah. Dude, this is one of the most scariest places I've ever been. Well, you, okay, okay, stay. Oh. What? Dude, it looked like somebody passed by this window. But it's like a frosted window, dude. Come on, is there anybody in here with me? This is the last place you you occupied before you went in that small room. This is your last chance to tell me what you need me to know. Are you gonna stay back here, Jason? I'm gonna wander. Okay, I'm just gonna walk all the way back down. Um, to this end right here where we were saying like devil and all that stuff. And where I got the whistle that one when we were there. Okay, I'm gonna leave the bag with the stuff there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. okay. That is a frightening door. For many people that was a doorway to the end. People would like be frantically trying to find find a loophole or find a law that would keep them from visiting that room right down there. She is.
must have been pretty rough being in this cell block, knowing that on the other side of that door, on the other side of that wall is the place you would meet your end, where a lot of people met their end. Okay, Patrick is heading down one way. We're on our solos, I'm by myself. Let's see what happens. It's so dark. If you're back here, can you make that noise again? Absolutely terrifying. There's somebody down there. Yep. That's the law library. You guys can't see that. I believe this is the... Yeah, that's... Who's in here? Did you turn that camera off? That was a noise right in here. Jason, is that you?
You must not like visitors, huh? maximum security wing. Uh, this is this is where they had the, the the real bad guys. I'm in here alone. Word mad alone. Word mad tag alone. Limp. They would have been alone. Pole. I just hit that too. I just hit that pole. All right. What did you do? What did you do to get locked up in here? Do you have something to say? Ooh. Wildly out of focus. Who's back there? Who's making all that noise back there? Heard a voice. Heard a voice. I am solo in the cafeteria. Solo in the cafeteria. Hello? So this is the blind feed. This is where they'd get served their food and you couldn't see who you were serving it to, so in case it's your buddy, they didn't get extra. If, in case it was your enemy, they didn't get rat poison in it. Heard a lot of noise back here. Oh, this is... Which cell are you in? Do not put your 
shoes on the wall. Hello? Is there anybody still working? Scoops, ladles, spatulas, tongs. I guess anything that could be used to make a weapon. I guess the guards would watch from here, watch the mess hall. Shoot people through it if they needed to. Okay. Panic alarm. Do you still work, panic alarm? Jason. Pretty sure Jason is in the mess hall. Let's go in there and find him. Jesus. Dude, I was coming out of that door, and uh, 
Something pushed it back into me. Which door? It was like a maintenance room. I was pushing it open to come out and something like pushed it closed on me. Dude, he unlocked it and I just took a walk down just like the main hall. We got to the end and there was hell of noises. Like, like that. Even louder. <laughs> That door. This door? Yeah, I was coming out of it and something. Careful, careful. Something pushed back on it. It's heavy. But something like physically pushed it back at me. So it wasn't just the weight of the door. Yeah. Do you not like people coming back here? cafeteria. I was looking around and something hit, dropped something. Ooh, there. some oil. Are you back here? Supposed to be right here, bros. Okay, just gotta walk around in the back over here. Just a random table back here. <laughs> That's creepy. Religion and holy? Yeah. This place is huge. Oh, Jesus. You all right? Yeah, I fell. Oh. I found the guard's room, though. You, you found what? Where the guard would have stayed. Oh, yeah, I checked that out already. It's pretty awesome. That was me. I'm right where the grill used to be. Here's the freezer.
something out there and then the door thing but other than that it's pretty quiet check out maximum security yeah, all right guys we have made it to the maximum security wing wing did you hear that yeah was that you no Seriously? No, that was not me. All right. It's time to wake up. Agreed. Bacon. No. Time to wake up. Agreed. You hear that? That's what I was hearing. Wait, wait, this is. Students. You better not be out of your cell. Oh my god. I'm scared these sh <laughs> Sorry. Get in it, see where it goes. No, I love dumb waiters. I don't trust this thing. Who's down here? Grievances. Crazy. You're not supposed to be making all that noise. Here and it kept leading me down here. Do you want me to come down here? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Did you hear that? That wasn't you? No, it was right about maybe 10, 15 feet in front of me. Wake up! I feel very disoriented right now. Oh yeah, dude, earlier I, I, I was just walking like this into the wall. Because yeah, I was just doing that. Yeah. And it's, it's like, like I am doing that. Like I'm, Yeah. like I'm waving back and forth, man. And that's the first time tonight that's happened. If you can hear our voices, on the count of three, I need you to make a noise, okay? One, two, three. Let's try this. This one 
the way it is. It's like a clear cage. That's some hand electric crap right there. Can we get in there? It's weird. I do remember them saying, don't even close these things because they don't have keys to any of them. Oh yeah, that's where they're zip tied. This is the solitary confinement wing. Yeah. Like you, you get locked up in there. And then they close A. the door somewhere. A and that. I mean, you had to do some pretty messed up things to get stuck in here, right? It's getting kind of stuffy in here, the further yeah. we go. Hello? <laughs> Look. Oh, that's terrifying. String. Knife. Yeah, that's not cool either. String and knife. Interrupt. Moses. Poverty. Moses, was this your cell? Are you still in here, Moses? You must have been a bad guy to end up in one of these, Moses. She said, I. Slave. Oof. Come on out. No. Are you s Come on. If you're in whoa, there, whoa. Huh. Dude, something's banging down there. That. What the fuck? Do we go? Of course we can. Let's go. I'm gonna turn this off. What are you doing? Gag. Ooh. What are you doing over here? Who's making all that noise? There it is again. What the hell is that? Hello? Nobody out there, man. And it's not windy at all. Oh man, no way. Like, I don't, I don't think there's like a way to do that, but from in here. Can you make that noise again? You brought us here for a reason. I just saw a shadow. With my own eyes. You did it. It's not windy outside, no. dude. It is not. Dude, what was that? It's like the door tried to shut on me. Can it shut? I don't know, dude. My whole arms and everything is spiderwebbed dude, out. It's, it's literally handcuffed open. 
Dude. It, did you hear it? I Is heard it. it. And it's not doing it on its own. What? It's heavy. Oh, dude, I'm like all, like spider web and everything, bro. What, what was that? What the hell was that? That was a lot. Oh my god. Is there an upstairs? Is there an upstairs to this? Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think. Hey, look, stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, wait. Let's see. I say we just go to the top floor, dude. Go as high up as we can. What do you say? I say let's get lit. What's this? Yeah, I have a bad feeling right here. Oh, me too. I got like, drawn over here. Keep door closed. Pigeon problem. <laughs> This part of the prison is shorter than the other. So I think we may be at the top. Oh yeah. We never did get to go down here. What is that? It's the in-between. Go. Let's f do it, man. You wanna go down there by yourself and I'll walk out? Uh, I don't think. I think there's an exit on the other side. You wanna? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> Whoa. Is that you? Yeah. That was not me. I didn't hear anything. Seriously creepy. Whoa. Almost fell on my butt. Was that you? I didn't do anything. Did you hear that? No. I heard something in here. Dude, I'm on the prisoner side and You all right? Yeah. Hope I can get out at the end. Uh, I don't think I can. It is a dead flipping end. Guys, it is like... It is so creepy. Down here. Okay, I have to come back. What's that? 
I have to come back. There's no exit. Is that you? Yeah, this is me. Dude. Oh, it's super creepy in there. Yeah. Unfortunately, we ran out of time on this investigation, but we can't wait to return. Welcome back, Nightmare Junkie Enthusiasts. In tonight's scary video, we're delving into the mysterious heart of West Virginia. The old hospital on College Hill isn't just any haunted location. It's a place whose spine-tingling stories have echoed through time, unsettling even the most daring amongst us. Join us as we navigate its chilling passageways with the help of the YouTube channel, Forgotten Explorations Paranormal Team. They've braved the unknown to bring us closer to the tales that have haunted this hospital for generations. Before you proceed, a word of caution. This isn't content for the light sleeper. Ensure you're truly ready. Dim those lights, get cozy under your favorite blanket, and prepare yourself for an episode that's bound to send shivers down your spine. Watch this. The woman was taken to the hospital to be induced for her pregnancy. She was met by a nurse. The nurse told her that she was not going to have the baby at that date and that she could go ahead and go home. As she's leaving, she was stopped by yet another nurse who asked her where she was going. When the lady informed her that she was told by a nurse to leave, the woman that stopped her informed her that she was the only one working that floor today. There are reports of a nurse walking around the fourth floor. This is because a nurse was on her way into work at the old hospital when she was suddenly in a serious car accident. She was able to be rushed to the hospital and everything like that, but she died on the operating table. There's also reports of a floating nurse in the basement of the hospital. 
Residents of the town Williamson, which is the neighboring town of the hospital, the hospital oversees the entire town. They have reported seeing the lights flickering on and off, which is strange because there's only power on the first floor and the basement, and one room in the second floor. There's no more power throughout the rest of the second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. So lights have been reported flickering on and off, shadow people walking by windows, and smoke coming out of the top of the building. The smoke coming out of the top of the building is pretty crazy because the original hospital burned down in the year of 1926. Whenever a resident of Williamson needed their animal operated on, seen, anything like that for any reason, they would bring them to the hospital because there, there weren't any vet hospitals inside of Williamson, West Virginia. So the nearest place for them to take them would be the hospital. And the doctors actually agreed to seeing these, these animals. Now, one of the most notable animals that came in there was a horse. Somebody actually brought their horse inside of this hospital and they allowed them to be operated on. Could you imagine like being inside of your hospital bed recovering from whatever ailment that you had and seeing a horse just walk down the, the hallway? When the horse was operated on, it died on the table on the fourth floor. And it's said that to this day that you can still hear the galloping of the horse. The most notable haunting in historical fact about this hospital is what happened to Mose Blackburn. Now Mose Blackburn, him and his wife were having an altercation outside of their home on July 21st, 1962. The argument was so bad that the police were called to try to calm down the altercation. When police arrived, Mose was so infuriated that he ended up pulling a gun and started firing at the officers. Now this gunfight ended up lasting for 20 minutes or so. Ultimately, it came to an end when Mose fatally wounded one of the officers and was shot himself. Mose was rushed to the emergency room. He got operated on. He was being contained inside the third floor while he was recovering from his injury. And he ended up jumping from the third floor window. Now, the reason why I say jumping is because a lot of people believe that the police officers that you know, were partnered with the man that Moe's shot, actually went in there and threw him out of the window himself. But he ended up hitting the asphalt at the front of the hospital, right at the front door. He was brought back in by police, put back in his room, and then he died a month later from pneumonia. And he was in the hospital for that entire amount of time. So you guys, tonight we are using spear box. Uh, basically what this does is it goes through radio frequencies and whatever the spirit is like really putting out there like to say it picks that up and it will say that through the spirit box itself. Uh, this is the cap hole. It senses movement once, once it moves or it gets touched. It will uh, just light up. This is the, uh, the flux, flux 2. Basically what it does is it kind of scans the area, gets its surroundings set up. Once it gets its surroundings set up, I'll, I'll show you what it does. So now it's calibrated. So if something walks past either side, it'll, it'll light up and make a noise. This is also good for yes or no questions, like no could be red, yes could be green, male could be green, female could be red you know, different things like that. Um, this is in a uh, EVP recorder. It picks up frequencies of sound that we can't hear with the human ear. And this one's actually really cool because it, it only starts recording once it picks up audio. Then these two... That's somebody standing behind you. Jacob's using the SLS camera, which picks up like a stick figure body. And apparently there's somebody standing in the hallway with us right now. But these two devices right here, they're, uh... My bad. Oh, you're good. You just never know if, like, yeah. the camera picked up something. They're, uh, they're EMF meters, so they pick up electromagnetic frequencies. 
Um, so like anything that's really electro will kind of interfere with this. So we try to debunk what we get, um, but this one's also one. It's just a different look. Dude, it's cold, period, down here. Hey, Yo! Alright, so just for the viewers at home, look at the... along the picket fence. There's a little child down here that would like to play with us. We placed a... duck toy. Placed a duck toy right there for you to be able to use. No way. And I don't even have a what's it called, an extra battery. Not even 10 minutes into the investigation, they are in the basement where they report feeling cold, and then their camera battery dies. This is usually what is reported when entities are trying to manifest themselves in our world. You guys, you're literally seeing how we're seeing. All we have is a flashlight. That is it. I'm sorry if the audio is kind of muffled right now. But yeah, this this was the x-ray area. They would t take the x-rays while the nurse or the doctor stood in there. This is where the stick man has been seen. Keep an eye on your K2 meter as well, Victor. If there's anything that's here with us, can you give us a sign? Can you come touch? That definitely was not me. It's right here. Can you roll the duck down the hall, please? We'll stand right here and wait for it to roll. Dude, you, you want to know what happened to us? So, you see what I have right there? We're taking it to the third floor because that's where all the kids' voices and stuff have been heard. But we're sitting here in, in that. Yeah, where the stick man came through. And we go to walk out, and just steadily spiking, it steadily the, it spiking. The, it was steadily. And we literally put it on everything, and it didn't do anything. Take a picture in here. Do you guys want to try to do a spirit box in here? No. Quick? Yeah, do no, it. Not if it's I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm right, doing I it. Gonna, actually, I won't do it. I was gonna say that Jacob does have a. I mean, we. It's for the for the content. Uh, you go right ahead. We'll go upstairs and try to talk because we promised to go upstairs and talk to him. Damn, just come do a, a quick spirit box session. Five minutes. All right. Hey, G, you have it? Yeah. We put it on top or no? No. Dude, it's still set to on. Yeah. What is that? Thing? Oh, cheesy, right, dude? Oh, and by the way, okay. as we come down, yeah, as as we we got battery completely died. What, the fucking. The camera light? How, how dead, dead? Yeah, almost dead. Yeah, what we'll do is switch that off with yours. You said what? That should be good. Turn that down real quick. Turn, turn it all the way down real quick. I swear as that was going, it was literally going, Austin, Austin. I, I feel like we both fucking missed that too, because I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I saw it when it was spiking. That's, that, that K2 just spiked red, y'all. And Jacob's camera literally it's got shut off. Now, you guys, we're in the room where a medium 
literally oh, buckled oh, right oh, there. He said oh, it at least two. Two? Two, two different types right here. Them. And they, he said they got, one got in here, another one was at the, the door, room. and the other one, they yeah. both dropped. Yeah. What happened? The mediums, the mediums were coming it. through here. She, they just they didn't want to be in this room. No. So I mean, supposedly happened. Dude, that really, that really fucked up. I was literally hearing, Austin, Austin. Like an actual, like, did, was that newly put in the calendar? The calendar? Or was that actually old, like 95 old? No, this is That's definitely from 95. What did that say? It said old. It said old. It said old. Old, bro. Now that's creepy. As they talk about if the calendar is old, the spirit box responds with the answer old. This is getting good. Let's continue, shall we? Did you see it? There appears to be a shadow figure behind the door, and then it disappears. So you guys, we're using... If this chair gets hit at all, that's falling. That's fine. If it does fall, then we know something touched it. We're using the digital dowsing app. It's a, an Ovulus app, actually. So we're going to test out the C. How well it works. Austin, Austin, Austin. Are there any spirits here with us that want to make contact? Under. Under. Second floor. Second floor. Mer 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 Hundred. Hop. Start to record this. Are you underneath us? Where we are? Couch. First floor. There's that couch, that sofa couch at the entrance. There's also entrance. the only that was on Walmart. The black futon. Yeah. Are you sitting on the couch downstairs? Anything. Oh, that's our first Threat. Threat? Are you threatened by us or are you a threat? Moe's Blackburn, we're calling out to you. It's gonna have pull the antenna out. Come. Come. Do you want us to come into your room? Telepathy. Telepathy. Let's point you to mine. Can you use telepathy on the duck? Can you move the duck at the end Object. of the hallway? Object. Yeah, there is an object at the end of the hallway. Can you move it? Moe's Blackburn, are you here with us? Dirty. Dirty. Agent. Agent. Dirty agent. There's a story that Moe's Blackburn was thrown out of here by a police officer. What if it was like a crooked cop that threw him out? I just heard a growl. A growl? Keep keep going. Whatever you hear, just whatever you hear, just like yell out to me. Moe's Blackburn, or is this your room? I just heard a scream. A scream? A male scream or a female? A female. Is there a woman here? On this floor? Fear. Fear. It just said fear. Prayer. Prayer. The the Bible. Is the Bible up here? No, I don't think I don't think it's up here. Are you afraid of what was I just happening? heard Henry. Henry? Like clear as day. 
This is getting creepier by the minute. As they start to ask the spirit questions, they start to get some unnatural responses. But what's about to happen next will chill you to the bone. Watch this. Hey, Vic. Victor. I just heard somebody walking over here, dude. I just heard somebody walking over here, just... Is it, like, aggressive? It was like somebody actually walking. Take the Polaroid. No, I'm, I'm just gonna take the thing really quick. The entire light? Like... Oh, okay. Just keep... It's... No. Why? You're leading me to where you were? Yourself. Yourself. Yes, I am by myself. Victor, oh my fucking god, bro. I just heard no clear as day. View. I just heard no. Dude, dude, it said view. Come here real quick. I just... Was that door at the very end on the left? Was that closed or open? Yeah. I have no idea. They are getting some great responses back from the dead. Did you just see that orb pass by? This is getting really intense and about to get even more intenser. Watch this. Violent. Entire. I saw, and then my screen recording just stopped. Holy. Oh, is she having it right now? Talking about somebody coming towards him, or I don't know what's talking about. I can't hear. Hey, I don't think they can hear us. Hey, teach. Where y'all at? Over here. Dude, that thing was going to red for. Are y'all getting stuff? Then, I just heard hate teach. I, I, got, I got devil. I'm literally. Uh, this thing goes red after that was spiking the red yeah. constantly. Let's, yeah, just listen. Just sit here and listen. There's a little car. We think we're talking to a woman that was pregnant. Dude, I'm. I'm remember away. somebody said yes, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm crying, yeah, bro. It's sad. Because we dude. were. Um, that's, we need that's to, what's going to happen to Beth if she No, we need to. We need to. I want to go back. I want you to listen. Derek. Who's Derek? Derek? A no, name? No, no, no. Who's Derek? When I was in there, I heard Moon. I heard Eric. Who? No. Derek Moon. Derek Moon. Derek Moon. Ooh, that just went oh, to five. My God. Is that car belong? Is that Tina. The, the car belongs to Tina. Tina. Woman's name is Tina. 
I, I just heard kid clear as day. Was de the Derek Moon was the kid? Hey, oh, you have the battery? No, dude, like literally, Why like, you can hear my, my nose yeah. is stuffing. <laughs> Clouded. Dude, literally, dude, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta watch this like ASAP. The questions. Watch out. It was matching up like perfectly. Dude, insane. I was like, are you a girl? She's like, yes. Debbie. It's saying names now, fam. It, Debbie. Is, Tina. Is the, I was gonna say, is the pregnant lady named Tina or Debbie? Well, I know Derek is probably the child because I literally just asked about this car. <sighs> Among scruple. I don't even know. I thought it's my mom. Means. Uh, well, look at waste. If that's I just, it just said goodbye. Cheat. Hold on, watch out for this. Are you still with us? Dude, do you have your phone? Yeah, but. Right. 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 Oh, right. Oh. But that could say it could be I'm right. Like no, no, like it's W I it's spelled, W. Yeah. yeah, it's right. Like writing. Is your are you? Did you lose? Like billion. Billion. The mayor. He's not billionaire. Do you want us to write the word billion? Etch. As they are asking questions, the pod responds, and then this happens. Write on something. Oh. That one's going off too. Dude! No way. That's off too! No way. Me. Me. You wanna- Me. We. 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 Oh shit! Are you here? Yeah. No, she- <laughs> Who's- Who's we? Is it, um... I think it was Tina? T Don. Don. That's- Don, Derek, Debbie, Tina, and uh, Jackie. One Those were the Derek. five. Derek. Does. Does. Don does. Does Don do bad things? Members. Members. Oh, they can no, be nurses no. and stuff. What if it's not Don does members? Don dismembers. Don. Amputee. Oh, yeah. He was been the amputee doctor. Was Don an, a name of one of the doctors that used to work here? Will. Will. Will, will was a doctor. No, like Will. He will. He will. Dismember. So he was a, he was the the amputee. Well, what were amputees? What's the fucking odds? Both of them shits went off same yeah. time, dude. And then it says me, and then face. both face face face. Are you are you here talking? The face that comes through the the. It's it, tiny. Wait, wait, wait! Five, 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 five. Trap. Trap. Yeah, this is that's trap, yeah, bro. People are it's, trapped. It's here, the yeah. same female. I'm pretty sure that we were talking to above. The one that's literally been talking to us this whole. Shaken. Are you yeah. hurt? No. Scared. Who's? I mean, the, uh, did you my see? Ribs are no, the fucking hurting really bad. <laughs> really bad. Yeah. We should. If they're really bad. Then, Cold. I'm not cold. It's, I'm, I'm it's not freezing. Cold. Yes, I'm cold. Yes, it's cold. I don't know if it's because Eventually that's be it's be for y'all. Yeah. Dude, this this room. Yank. Yank. Were you? Dude, it's like so. So this. This so thing on. Down. Yank down. The hell. No. Yank down. Yank down as in. They probably used to get like yanked, yeah, like or like um, down. or some type of like uh. Or maybe see, a lot of things in the hospital they could have got the pop. babies taken away a lot of times. Arms, arms, so they arms, 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 bro. Arms. They, that sucks that they took their they took some they took somebody's kids. Lock. Yeah, they took their kids. The keys. The, yeah, keys. the keys. The keys that are always uh. Finally. Finally. Finally being found. No way. Is is. Call. Call. The phone was call? upstairs, but there isn't a phone. There's just no, standing. yeah. Sale. Sale. Is, is there, is there a key in this room?
in his room and it's going crazy. Alrighty. Look, 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 look. Did you put a chair in the middle of a room down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was, but I hate this pants right for you. Can you make it go to a different color? Can you completely touch it? This was actually a big, it's a bigger it's, room. It's a double that, room. Is it? Uh, yeah. Can you grab it, like hold it? Anybody get a cold chill all of a sudden? Yeah. I'm in cold. Did you, restock, did you restock this? I yeah. did. It's got 10. Yeah, I don't know who did that. That's scrapping it. Can you grab it a little bit more, please? How much, how much things are in yours? Six. Six. Is that yours? Yeah. This had like five when we were That's in the what basement. That's what I thought. So did you restock Look at the rim pod. Yeah, that, that's what's on mine as well. Look, like electric like from sparkles dude. Or some shit? Oh, no, no. green light. Look at the light, it. bro. It's, it's fucking like, yeah, like a lightning. A lightning. Not, not oh. like a lightning. Oh. Not like a lightning. Like dude. Ooh, the dude. heart rate. Oh, that's, oh, it's got fucking goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's the the oh, green. Yeah. Light. Yeah. The paranormal evidence is stacking up. The Forgotten Explorations team investigation is just getting started though, as it's about to really get creepy. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Drawing. Drawing. Drawing or trying? Drawing. Are you drawing energy from our devices? Help! Said help? I just heard help so clear. Insomnia? That's what Suit. I was Suit. Board. Dad. Board. He's probably trying to get forgiveness. AJ, where's the f***ing drawing board? The drawing board. Right across bedroom. the room. Bedroom. Bedroom. Right across the room. French. It's in there. French. No. Is it? No, it's on the second floor, fam. Give me a second. Breathe. I'm trying to look up this word. No, 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 no. Wednesday. AJ. What day, what day is that? What day is that? Today? No, no, no. no. When he no. died. I just heard Wednesday. 1960. Bedroom. He said bedroom. French. Justice. Justice. So he, he wants justice. So he was, he was wrong for you. He, I gotta like go back to the year 1964. I mean, I think we just got our answer. Can you make that go up a little bit? Cool. Wait, I asked her, I was, was 73 an important, important year? Yes, yeah, that's when it I heard 7 got, got shut down. It was actually when it actually physically got shut down lost business. I heard 73. And he was turned into a doctor's office. Yo, he had lung problems. Was it lung problems? That's what it says, yeah, look. That means they, they suffocated his Look, he had nothing wrong with his lungs when he fell. Yeah. Did they suffocate you? What, dude? Cop, I heard copy. So a cop the cop century. 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 Yeah, he, he, this dude was murdered by cops. Murdered by dude. cops. Hundred percent. This thing's going he, on. He said, "Yeah." He, you heard, "Yeah." I heard, "Yeah." Are Were you thrown out the window, or did, or Rass. did you do it? Rass. Records. records. They, had, the records. they hid the records. the records in the safe. They hid the records in the safe. Holy oh, shit! My God. Can you point us to where the safe is, or do you well, think the safe, the safe is down there? We already looked at the vault. Mark. Mark. A guy named... I would say look it up, but I don't know. He probably had that far along the police. Was Mark a police officer? Team. Team. See, he was part of the team. <gasps> the, f the The names. It could have been him telling the Lungs. names of the fucking cops. Lungs? Lungs. Lungs. Oh. I don't know why... Because we already we already said this, but he died with like lung problems. Oh and it my just said god, lungs. bro! Even though it's, it was it was suffocated. Yeah, he was literally suffocated. Yeah. His lungs. Yeah. He was suffocated. They suffocated him. If it's a super definite yes, can you make it go to a different what color other than green? Awkward. Awkward. Immediately. Yeah, soft. we're making not making him feel awkward. I I heard. We, damn it. We're we're trying to we're trying to help. We're trying you. we're you trying to get the facts correct. Because they think you committed suicide. Value. 
value. Okay, so you valued his file. Long. File. file again. Files. Anomalies. So there's multiple people. Anomalies mean multiple. So let me just reiterate one more time. We are speaking to Mose Blackburn, and you just said that you were trying to leave. And as you were trying to leave, you got Dead. thrown off. I don't know if I just heard it. I think I just heard Van is red. red. And it said red peace. earlier. Peace. peace. Like peace. Are are you in peace? Or are you trying to are you trying yeah. to find peace? Do you need help? Yeah. Do you need help? Mm -hmm. So you're in peace. Happened. Happened. Peace happened. So you so you are you're you're peaceful. Are you peaceful? Stare. Are you peaceful now Stare. because we figured it out? How you act, what actually happened? Possible. Possible. No way. That's crazy. Dude, that has probably been the most like yeah. on like one on one answer <laughs> yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, that we've ever gotten from anybody. Dude, we I think he literally just he says we possibly just, just gave him it. peace, yeah. Wife. Wife. Wife? Oh, yeah, did you, you know, he oh, left his wife. Left his Remember him and his wife got into an argument. Yeah, that's, what happened. Wife, that's what happened. That's what happened. He, he was in an was argument in the cops. The cops showed up. Damn. Throat. Right, throat. Like, wife, throat, lend. His wife fucking stabbed. 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 stabbed in the throat? Did his wife stab him? Or he stabbed his... Did you stab your wife? The little girl that was saying mom. Blood. Mm -hmm. I did. Into. Blood. Into blood. His wife stabbed him in the back. Daddy. Doc. 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 Like a doctor. A doctor. The doctor stabbed you in the... Oh, so the doctor just, like, let him do it. That's basically what he's been saying. Did the doctor just let, the, let them, them do it to you? Them. They, the doctor let them do it to you. I think there's like a couple other things. People trying to talk up, as well, yeah, because yeah, we're actually helping him and everybody else. All right, Mose. Pain. Are you still in pain, Mr. Mose? That's not. It's not spelled C. C E S I U M. Homicide. Oh no, that is. Oh. Oh my God, bro. What does Aremus mean? That you have something to do with your fucking hand. Oh my fucking god. Is that Aremus? Yeah, O R E M U S. I just heard kill him. And then a car horn. Weathered. I'm hearing a lot of like distorted and growled. Yeah, that's what we were hearing. Um, mostly throughout the. What'd you say, Austin? No, O R E M U S. I believe. Yeah, Remus. What did it just drop me down to? To your hands and knees. To my pray. knees. Yeah. To pray. What? It probably like grabbed you, you to put you down to pray. To, so that's how you have to get rid of him. What? I don't know what I'm doing right here. Did I say woods? Yeah. Thor. Like four. Do you want me to pray for you, Blackburn? He's actually sitting in front of your door. Dude, my whole arm and literally we grabbed you to pull you down. Like yanked arm, down. Arm, 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 arm yanked, yanked down. He just said arm yanked. He said arm yanked. He just said arm yanked. No, no, he didn't. He, not just now, but like uh, when we were down. Oh, yeah. When we were in the basement, arm yanked down is what it said. Down. Yanked down, as in they probably used to get like yanked. Yeah, like or like uh, pulled down. Or some type of like uh, or maybe see, a lot of things in the hospital they could have got the Pops. babies taken away a lot of times. Arms. Arms. So they arms. Made, arms, you know, arms bro. Arms. They took the baby. Whole... Well no, it probably is and it's like twenty something in here. <laughs> Turning on the office. Should I sit in this chair? 
Before we did looks broke. You already you already sat in here earlier. I already sat in here earlier, huh? Is your hair standing on end yet? As they continue to investigate, we once again see an orb in the dark lit room pass by. Did you see it? Just wait until we get to the basement. It's cold. I thought it was again. Spirits. <laughs> spirits. Is the spirits making it colder? It's all the spiritual energy. Oh, simple. Simple. So the, I guess it seems, yeah, that was a simple. <coughs> I mean, it's warmer outside than it is inside the building. It was warmer on the third floor Shh. than it is here. Fuck birds? That's what I'm saying. Dude, Dude right? Who the fuck is birds? Cell. Cell. One. Two, one, two, one. Cell. Cell one? Cell? Yeah, like cell. Spirit. Like, cell one spirit. Sell your soul. That's totally two different things. Sell yeah, I was going to say sell is two different things. Sell your spirit. Like sell as an S-E-L-L? That sounds like yeah. it's trying to like... Like it's like it's asking now. Now. Welcome to another Nightmare Junkie Scary video. Tonight's videos will have your hair standing on ends and make you sleep with the lights on forever. Are you ready? Let's go. What you're about to see is a homeowner who is haunted by an entity. This homeowner has moved to different houses and the entity seems to follow him where he moves to. I hope you're prepared for what's to come because it's terrifying. Stop, 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 stay by me. It was glass. Oh, no. oh shit, get! Oh god, look, no, 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 no. We gotta get the fuck out of here, we gotta get out of here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get... No, 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 stop, stop, man. You locked us in. I gotta go. You locked us in. No, no, no. We make a break if there's nothing there. Stay by me, stay right fucking behind me. This is a bad idea, this is a bad idea. Just chill out, chill out. Oh shit, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there! What the fuck are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You got your phone? No, I don't. The next night, he is woke up by his smoke alarms going off. This is so scary. Watch this.
Hey. No, did you get the alert? Yeah, it's smoky as hell in here and all the burners are on. No. No, I ate hot pot. Like all of them were on. Call them and say what? Third time in two months? No, it's smoky, smoky. I'm recording this time. I don't know. No, it turned on. No, it's this motion camera. No, it's like real smoky in here. There's no fire, I'm telling you. I'll send you the video. It's not behind here. I don't know, hon. I'm just letting you know. All right, just turn off the alert. No, I'll sit down here. All right. Things seem to start to get worse every night for him. I think it's time to call some paranormal investigators. Hello? Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? Hello? The fuck? Hello? What do you want? Storm's closed. Come on. Oh, 
want from me for the love of God leave my house leave me alone yes. now that was terrifying but we're just getting started watch this Are in there. The basement seems to be where all the activity is the strongest. If you want me now, man, take me. I'm leaving. I'm tired of this shit. Did you just see that Ord float by? If you made it this far in the video, you are so brave. Will you be brave enough though to make it through the whole video? Let's see. Let's have it out, man. I'm leaving. Just let me get my shit and go.
glass break. There's nothing down there but my windows to break. I'm leaving the house, man. You're done. Catch me if you can. I'm leaving, man. Have it out now. What the f do you want? He leaves the dog with the entity, which in my opinion is a bad idea. Watch this.
Welcome back, Nightmare Junkies. Prepare yourselves for another spine-tingling scary video. Tonight's terror is presented to you by the Paranormies YouTube channel. Tonight we will be diving into a chilling childhood experience like you've never encountered before. An eerie tale so haunting, you'll have to see and hear it to believe it. A huge thank you to Paranormies for sharing this bone-chilling tale with all of us. For more dark tales and paranormal adventures, don't forget to check out their channel. But for now, brace yourselves. Now, watch this. I grew up in a very Christian family and finding out more answers about spirits that have not passed on, um, that was a, an important thing for me to try and figure out in order for me to understand if there could be a god or a devil out there. I got something for a half second. Oh, he's right here, come. I got him. What's that? Hurry up, I got him. Not even one hour into the investigation, they stumbled upon evidence that defies explanation. Prepare to witness paranormal activity like never before, captured in moments most investigators can only dream of. Does that happen? Yeah. It was in the corner? It was right there. Right there. There he is. Back before all of this, before all of these locations, all of these experiences of paranormal activity that Jordan and I have got. Stop, stop, stop. Before the YouTube channel, before the videos, there was a memory that my brother and I shared, and it's the longest single sequence memory of my early childhood that I can recall. And I say the longest because most of us remember snippets of a memory, like a smell, a color, or a touch that takes us back to a moment in time that's very brief. This memory was an entire moment. It was fear and vulnerability, and ultimately it was a seed that was planted for me that was being gardened for 22 years, you know, spreading its roots throughout my family tree. I didn't know it in the moment, but that ultimately would become Paranormies. Make it go to red and solid red. What is that? <gasps> what the f Just when we thought it was- Is something trying to draw us away? Let me get it, let me get it. Whoa, okay. Where is the K2 was going off to? Yeah. So what's in here with me? I, I knew, I knew something was gonna be here. Remember outside, this is gonna be yeah. a good night. An hour and a half later. Here we go, starting. Why are you here? Let go, please let go of the REM pod. One memory that happened when I was about seven or eight and it's just it's so clear to me and that was when my brother and I were at my grandparents house and we were playing with toys underneath the pool table and I mean I couldn't I can't remember the toys I would, if, my, if I had to take a guess it'd be a biker mice from Mars toy or some kind of action figure Power Rangers or something and I remember that we were having a fun time and slowly and subconsciously we were both being drawn further away from the pool table to a locked closed door that was nearest to us and it was right beside the living room in my grandparents house um, and it wasn't immediate at first that we knew we were being drawn away but there was just noises coming from inside the room and we kind of were looking at each other and Eventually, our attention was just focused on this door when we heard the sound of an animal roaring and some human screaming from inside the room. And it wasn't even a thought process of what happened next. It was just a, that flight trigger that we got up and removed ourselves and ran for the stairs. And we were climbing and I couldn't even in the moment tell you who was in front or who was in back because it was just happening so fast. And then the weirdest thing, looking back on the memory, is when we got to the top of the stairs, my grandma was waiting there to hug us. In the moment, that didn't matter because we were just, we needed to be comforted, but looking back on that memory, why was she standing there? Why was she waiting at the top of the stairs? Did, did she hear what we heard? 
Or did she know what was going on? After everything that happened in that room, and I'll get back to those events that happened in that room later, but after everything that happened there, I just have to know, you know, did she know? But unfortunately, after 22 years, she doesn't recall the event. And that's when the memory goes blank. It's like the dream ends. And that's what I'm left with. I'm not going out there alone, man. Not going to happen. As darkness descends and most of the world slumbers, the paranormies press on, venturing deeper into the unknown. But as the night evolves, so does the atmosphere around them. And soon, things begin to get unsettlingly creepy. You might want to leave a light on for this one. This is getting real good. Come out. <gasps> yourself. Come yourself. yourself. Come yourself. Dude. Go. Dude. Go. Do it. Go. I'll, I'll stay here. I'm going to listen to the spirit. Oh, so. <gasps> forward. Forward. Keep going forward. I to start filming this episode at my dad's because a lot of the same nostalgic pieces of paranormal activity that happened to me when I was younger started happening at my dad's very recently. And I mean nostalgic in the way that certain sounds that I remember hearing from my childhood or even in my 20s, I started hearing them again here. And that was, it would sound like somebody was tapping on the window. Or there was moments where it sounded like something was being dropped from a different room or voices in a different room. And it started to remind me of this moment with that I shared with my brother from you know hearing different voices coming from another room and it always made me wonder is this something that has followed my family like my brothers and I for so long I'm hearing voices too faintly right yeah I'm hearing them too in the silent nooks of our dwellings cats remain vigilant attuned to the unseen. This particular cat appears to perceive an unsettling presence in the home. Legends have long spoken of creatures sensing forces beyond our understanding, those apparitions that escape the notice of mankind. I thought it was coming from down the hall, but it's like they got quieter when I went to the end of the hall. Oh. What? K2 again. Just a little really? spike. I heard it. Hello, are you the one that banged on the bedroom door? You heard that? You heard that. It was a door creaking, wasn't it? Did you see it? You were by the hall. I didn't see which one it was, no. Hello? Is there anybody here? Did I go off again or is that still...
Blinking from before. Maybe it's just because it's still moving. Looks like a big light out here. Maybe there's no. Like you think someone is walking light. around? No. Since the investigation commenced, something has been amiss. One by one, their tools of detection seem to malfunction. Could it be mere coincidence? Or is there an unseen force at play? Is the entity within these walls responsible for these disturbances? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. That's Watch like a... Boom, boom. Wow. That's my uncle who lives here. No way. When the word David came through the ovulus, it really surprised me. Um, but in the moment, I tried to brush it off because at that time, I wasn't allowed to share the recent health decline that he's been going through. That's my uncle on my dad's side, and he actually lives in the basement. He wasn't there during filming. He's a long distance truck driver. And it really surprised me because we're out there looking for paranormal activity of, you know, spirits that have passed on. And for it to say my uncle Dave's name really surprised me, especially with um, his recent diagnosis with cancer. It really upset me in a way because the first thing that came to my mind is is he knocking on death's door? And that really makes me sad because he's always been somebody that I've admired. I think his sense of humor is fascinating and I love him to death. And I just wanted to share that little piece of story. All right. So what about, you know, David? David, and it's also said measure, which the K2s were going off for a while. Right. This one was going off all by itself right here. If there's anything in here that, what we're trying to figure out is if it's something from my childhood or if it's because we're also very close, I heard a knock over there. If it's also because we're very close to the train tracks where suicides have happened and where the Woodridge lights. I was thinking that the when lights? you saw it, when you said you saw a light somewhere outside, we're not that far from Woodridge, and oh, we're here Woodridge searching for paranormal be. activity. We might come across that. Even though we were here to find answers for the events of Johnny's childhood, I knew. And Johnny knew that any possible paranormal activity may not be caused by any lingering spirits around Johnny or his family. The house we were filming in is located in a part of the province well known for ghost sightings, despite being very sparsely populated. One such legend of the area, and the most famous ghost story of the land, is the Woodridge Lights. And we'll be staying till around midnight, hoping to catch the lights. The story that Johnny and I heard growing up was a sad tale of a man whose wife had left him. The man spent the night drinking at a local bar to forget his troubles, where he befriended the bartender who lent the man a sympathetic ear. As the other bar patrons made their way home at the regular closing time, the bartender continued to serve the man later into the night. Around 3 a.m., the man was too drunk to have any more whiskey, so he put his coat on, lit his lantern, and began walking home along the train tracks. Shortly after embarking on his journey home, he was struck by the train and decapitated. The very same tracks that the man was killed on run directly behind the house we were investigating, and local residents to this day claim to see the light of a man's lantern as well as decapitated head along the train tracks at 3 a.m. Going off at all still. Is there anything that is here due to the Woodridge lights or just from my childhood? Because oh, that was you. That was me. Because we did, I mean, you weren't even here when that happened, but I had some activity in the garage and I just want to know if that was you. Yeah, I'm wondering if we should do a little SOS, eh? Take it down the hall, see if we can... I almost want to take it in the garage. The garage? But 
I think we should do both. Both? Because like we heard something we couldn't explain. We're there and we should check out the garage a little more too. Is it right here? What's it sound like? Did you hear that? What did it say? Yeah. It came from that direction. It came from over here. I felt. I felt it was like the whole hallway yeah. shifted or something. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like everything shifted. Just trying to see who's been making noise in here. <gasps> it's a scrape. I got something for a half second. Oh, he's right here, come. I got him. What's that? Hurry up, I got him. It said scrape. <clears throat> Did you just shut up? K2 just went off. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This thing the screen just went black. As soon as that happened? Yeah. It was in the corner? It was right there. Right there. There he is. There's nothing there. I'm looking right at that spot. There's nothing. What? Cannot. Cannot? What, yes. you can't You can't make noise for me? What was that? I just heard a screech from inside the house. Okay. Okay, that's a door. Close the door. Hello, who are we uh, in contact with right now? Holy shit. It's like he's like, waving or something. Yeah, he's got one arm's up and he's waving. Can you wave? Oh my god. He just waved? He just did. What are you doing here? Rolled. Rolled? Like a. Rolled maybe a car. Oh, can you just turn off? I'm wondering, like, rolled like a car crash? The K2 just went off again when I said that. Is that true? That one's went off too. That's still there, It's hey. not moving. Are you trying to run away? He's standing in front of this thing. Are you trying to run away? We're just here to talk. Who are you? Can you tell me your name? Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. Thank you. I should bring the K2 actually in that area, hey? Yeah, see if you can get a spike. French. French. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Johnny. Comment allez-vous? What does that mean? How are you doing or how's it going? Or comment ça va? We are in As they delve deeper, their questions pierce the dark silence. Each query, a beckoning to the unseen. But the answers, well, they were anything but ordinary. Prepare for the unexpected. Watch this. That might be nothing. It looks like nothing. Oh, holy shit! Oh, maybe that wasn't nothing. Okay. Okay. Who was that? Vapor. I feel like I can't turn my back to the garage door. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Remove. Remove what? Us? You want us to leave? <sighs> Jesus. I was just gonna say it's on that curtain. Oh, man. Nothing. 
nothing there now. After that bang, nothing. It's gone. So maybe that was something just kind of hanging out up there. That's terrifying. Yeah, because it's not doing it anymore. And then it's just... Just so realize I'm gripping onto this thing really tight. Oh, man, I... That was... That one got me. That one really got me. That's kind of like that bang I heard, but it didn't come from over there. It came from over there. I wanted to go behind the bar with this thing. See if our friend is still there. Sitting in a chair now. Oh, where'd you go? What's that? I keep getting something sitting in the chair. Like maybe he moved over. So I'm not getting anything in front of that cabinet. And there's something in the chair. There he is, just sitting in the chair. Whoa. That a bit more comfortable for you? That looks so odd. Maybe it is the chair, I don't know. But what would it be connected to? There's a bowl on it. It's circular, like, you know what I mean? There's nothing. Mm -hmm. I'll go get the key tune there. I'll go around okay. this way. Oh my, my fucking heart is still beating from that noise. What about in front of the cabinet? Nothing there either? It's no. weird. Meanwhile, oh, he just... Okay. Which one was that? I don't know. It sounded like further away than this. It also sounded like oh. louder than the one in the kitchen. Oh my god, this one. It had... What? Did it just stop? What if I touch it? That makes no sense. It's on. We tested that one. You have it on... You filmed it when I tested it yeah. earlier. I think there could be stuff just kind of like along the ground. What the hell just happened? Can't. Why? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We should run a spirit box. I just heard a knock. You heard a knock? It was two knocks. It was like... I thought it was like from over here. Can you do that again? Every room, every corner, every creak of this house tells a story. From the echoing hallways to the dimly lit bedrooms, the spirits of the past appear to be very much alive in the house. I heard it. There's two knocks right from this window. Right from after the I inside? asked it, to, it was I couldn't tell if it was inside or outside. Well, the outside, I think, has screens. Oh, 
You heard that one. Yeah. It's like it's moving along. Maybe it was this door. Now I'm thinking it might have been this door. This one does creak. Does that sound like it? I think so. It's hard to tell from the garage. It could have been it. That just f open. No, there's not even stairs here. F I wish oh I would have gone through this. Bird's nest right there. Really? Yeah, look out there. Why? Look, there's not even stairs there. Oh. Fuck, I wish I caught it. This thing f***ing opened just a little bit. You didn't, you didn't get it? I was pointed like over there, but I heard it. I bet you could hear it on the recording. You could, go, you could hear it squeak like that. Like the handle? Like I goes, you hear you know how it rubs? Like the door actually yeah. rubs a bit? Like, like that. You could definitely hear it. Okay, so then something's going, we should get a spirit box in this we, room. We have to, yeah. Okay. Holy fuck. Check this out. That's what I heard too. You heard that clearly, eh? Clearly. Dude, check this out. Check what out. Just start that camera. We just started it. It shut off. What the f is going on here? Did you turn that fan on? No. So something shut it off. might have shut it off. What the f Holy Who's shit, in here, is it? What's fucked is in here and in that room. Both where we filmed dialogue exactly where I said too. Objects fly, shadows shift, and an eerie coldness fills the air. Are these mere coincidences? Or is the spirit trying to convey a message reaching out from the other side? Watch this. Check on the glasses. Oh, that would make sense. No. Do you just have any significance or anything? They just look up paranormal glasses. Safety glasses. Nothing on. Do they mean anything to to you? Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Get the get the key too. Here, hold this for a sec. Here, hold this. Hold that. I just gotta grab the key too. Hold it to that. Again, nothing. It's nothing. It's like there's nothing ever lingering on. It's quick. It's just That's moving quick. around, dude. Just right super where quick. this thing was. I right was thinking where that. that. Figure was. Anything here? Where was this? Was it like? It's all cat shit. <gasps> it went off. <gasps> no. Oh. Now it's going off. Right where we had the figure on the SLS. This shit goes flying. That goes flying. All in this corner. There's nothing in here. Oh, it's like where the cat would be laying. It's like a little cat bed. A 
I thought maybe for a second the fan. There's no way the fan would knock that shit down. You can't even feel no. it over here. And no, why I is caught it on air. It, it actually on the, anyway. No, I can't even feel it from here. Where I'm. We standing. did hit record on this, eh? Before we did. I mean, that's why it, I thought we did, and that's why it shut off. As the camera rolls, a misty, fog-like apparition glides past, leaving us with more questions than answers. Could this be the very entity they have been trying to communicate with? It's a check this out. That's right, and that's right after that is when everything happened. Check this out. That's what I heard too. You heard that clearly, hey? Clearly. Like, check this out. Again? Again, it shut off. I don't even want to go out there and see what's going to happen. Why is it doing that? It's, I emptied all the cameras before we got here. But that's it. Now I'm just, I don't know, but I'm just feeling like it's all around. Let's go back out there. Why did they shut off again? Okay, I'm gonna. What the fuck? I'm not going out there alone, man. Not gonna happen. There's no way. <gasps> it said come. It said come. come. I said I'm not going out there alone. It said come. <laughs> you, I'm not going out there alone. Cool, this is getting good. This is getting come. real good. Come out. Oh, yourself. Come yourself. yourself. Come yourself. Dude. Go. Dude. Go. Do it. Go. I'll, I'll stay here. I'm going to listen to this oh, here. So. Forward. Forward. In a twist that sends chills down our spines, the entity makes a specific demand for him to be alone. Isolated encounters with the unknown are terrifying enough. But when a spectral voice beckons with such a request, it's on another level of dread. This chilling directive begs the question, what does the entity want? And why him? Bacon. Bacon. Is there anything in here with me? Not really hearing any words, it's just like bursts of energy going through the spirit box. Okay. The voice said Bill. Is your name Bill? Are you the one messing with us here? Holy f Motion ball's going on. What? Motion ball. Man, something just flew across the room in there. Really? Yeah. This motion ball just went, off. just went off. I was in there, I was listening to the spirit box, and I just saw the lights start flickering. And I just got it in time before it shut off. Holy shit. There's a train coming. I wonder if we'll get any more action now with the train coming by. If anything, if there's anybody here who passed away from this train or along these tracks, does this, did that say I am? I don't know. I couldn't make that one Spy out. Spy something? Help? You sound like hell. Was that help? And the train's hell about hell? to go by? That's what that I'm train is I'm passing wondering. by, about to pass by right now. I can hear it. Let's Someone listen. said help. Let's listen as it goes by. Said lose. Oh, did you hear that scream? That was outside. You heard a scream? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Prayer. You just said prayer. Prayer? Yeah.
Yeah, that camera shut off in the garage too. Shut again. off again? Yeah. No idea why. And it's not even full. It says it's got like seven hours of runtime still. Here. It happened oh. here? Motion ball. Motion ball again? Same one. And the train's going by right now. There it is. You can see it. It's moving. It's moving. Ah! Oh. What was that? See the train going Jordan. by right now. Jordan. Jordan. What? The ball was moving. The ball was moving? I, I caught the ball actually moving. Oh my god. Look at it. It's steady from the, there's the train's not gonna move really. You can't feel it in here. No, it's not. It was actually moving. It's not the cat. Oh. What the f So the train started going by. Someone said help. It said Here. Yeah. prayer. It said prayer. And then the motion ball goes off again and it's actually moving. It's not moving right now. <gasps> Help again. Turn a tap on that window. Like fingernails on the window tapping. You did? On that window, yeah. It's a really low voice. That thing is going off right now. That's your bugs. Help again. It's crazy how many times it said help as soon as the train starts going by. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. How many times that motion ball went off in that yeah. short period of time? And yeah, you can feel absolutely like you no vibrations it. from the train. And it would take more than that too, because like even if I touch it, like it's, look, yeah, it didn't. I just it. yeah, it's, I, it's rolling around because I touched it, and it's not even doing anything. You actually have to t like give it a good. Yeah. Touch. That's really and then the train's weird. gone, quiet again. Oh, it's cat. I'm on edge right now. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do you hear that? Yeah, that was a big help, eh? Just when we thought the paranormal activity had peaked, a chilling message emanated from the spirit box. A desperate plea for help. Moments later, as Jordan cautiously peered out the window, a massive shadow cast its eerie silhouette across the front yard. Was it a mere coincidence or a sign from the beyond? Do you know me? Do you know me from living here? Or do you know me from when I was a kid? If you know me from when I was a kid, come and touch this little, this little antenna. It won't hurt you or anything like that. You can touch it and I'll know that we're speaking with each other. Were you the one banging in the hallway? Just like Nothing. a surge or what? Or can you, Weird. you can't explain that really, hey? Did you, did you die here in the area? Can you come touch this thing in my hand? If you did die in the area? That wouldn't have been me. Yeah, oh, Not yeah. Either. Can you touch it completely? Oh, it wants to, eh? Can you come touch that thing completely? Touch the antenna. Do you know it me? It wants to. Is there a part of whatever happened in my family history still lingering around us? Myself, my brothers? Nothing electronic in here, right? Eh? 
I never thought we'd be doing something like this in here. Me neither. It's like the best memory I have. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes still, sense. See? So it works. Yeah. You know it's not fing screwing up. Is there somebody in here with us? Make it go to red and solid red. What is that? <gasps> red what line. the f Just when we thought it was a Is something trying to draw us away? Let me get it, let me get it. Whoa, okay. Where is the K2 was going off too? Yeah. So what's in here with me? I, I knew, I knew something was going to be here. Remember outside, it's going to be yeah. a good night. An hour and a half later. Here we go, starting. Why are you here? Let go. Please let go of the rump one. Let's go. So it's right there. Something right here. Mm -hmm. So strange. It's starting to freak me out though. Because it was a gradual, you know, like a, a slow, gradual burn last night. Like it slowly happened. Once the train yeah. happened, then it went off. But now it's like... Now it's like it's starting early. Well, like you said, that probably means this is going to be a good night. I would like to find more answers though tonight though. Of something that happened when I was, me and Nick were a kid. You know? Like what was under, what was in that room when we were under the pool table? I've, I've been inside there. I was maybe allowed in there once or twice when I was a kid. Once or twice. That's it. Other than that, that room is locked. And my mom had a weird experience in there too. What happened to my mom inside that room was terrifying. It's a really scary story to me. Um, I'll be giving you the details of how she explained it to me a long time ago. And we've never really talked about it since. But before I tell you that story, there's important details that I have to tell you that happened before um, her event 